Well, hello there then. Uh, this is Hi. EFAP Mini. Uh, I guess Super Chat. I don't know what I'm going to name this. Farewell Wolf. Farewell Wolf. That makes sense. Part one of two. <laughs> um, the Super Chat portion. This is catching up on all the ones that were missed because uh, time got overflowed on, on the last stream we did with you. It was like 14 hours and yet we, we didn't get through it because. There was just so many epic things happening, like Remarkable Republican and <laughs> memes. <laughs> it was infinite funtism. So now I'm just basically going to read out all the ones that uh, were meant for you. I've actually managed to filter out the ones that were less specific and they're just in me and Rags' backlog if they haven't been done already. Um, I don't know when this will actually be released. This one could probably be out relatively soon, but the one that comes after it being the meme one, probably going to be a bit longer because this it's filled with copyrightisms. So that's going to be fun. Um, in any case, uh, I suppose I may as well ask some normal, generic -y questions that are floating around the world that you've already answered, but just just so that you, you got a definitive uh, beginning of this video, you, you, can, you can give your answers again. So are you okay with being in memes from now on, despite not uh, being in the episodes anymore? Uh... I mean, I'd, I'd think I'd just be eventually phased out of them, but, I mean, if you, people are already working on them, I don't really care. All right. Uh, and uh, how do you feel... I, I, again, I know you've answered this before, but it's just for the, the thing. How do you feel about um, your videos being saved and relisted on YouTube? I don't want that at all. I know that there's, like, some guy who uploaded... Mm, not most, but a good chunk of what I used to have. And I told him, like, don't do that. And he thinks for some reason that there's an argument to be had. Like, he, he wants to talk it through with me. And it's like, there, there's no argument you could make that would make me want those videos up. So, yeah, no. Loads of people want them to stay up, but, like, it's, you kind of get the final decision on this one. Like, that's kind of, it's, uh... It's hard to translate that to a lot of like super passionate fans, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm not happy with the idea of them being up. I just want them all gone. Uh, there's two examples of uh, super chats I've I've thrown up, so then I can ask you a question about them. This one says, uh, "Can we start a birthday fund for Wolf? Like people can send super chats with four Wolf on them each year, and he can get them in that pot." And then another one said. Uh, I think he should get something from us showing we still care, love Wolf. And so the question is, how do you feel about people sending money through EFAP to you? I don't want that at all. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really, it, it seems really exploitative, and I don't want to be taking money away from other people when I'm not doing anything. So, yeah, don't don't send me things. I don't want that. And uh, it's like it's like super hard to figure out exactly... It's just not a really great way to do it anyway, because YouTube will be the ones who uh, get a lot of that chunk that you, the people may be intending for you to have. And, and I mean, you're kind of trying to get away from any internet interactions at all. So, like, the idea that you'd have this weird supply is just probably not going to uh, be something that works out. It's, it's very strange. And I know that people are very um, interested in doing so. It's just, uh, I don't know, guys, you're going to have to just, just, just keep it. Um, very You're fun. going to have to keep your money. <laughs> it, I, know, I know it'll be very hard, but yeah, don't don't give me money or anything for that matter. And yeah, the only other thing was going to be um, how is how has your time been so far away uh, you know, away more so from social media? Uh, I mean, nothing really profound has changed. I've only been gone for like a month or so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just figured that you'd be like, you, you prefer the whole, certainly no Twitter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just a given. Twitter sucks. It does. Hopefully it'll be what made illegal one day. <laughs> Hopefully just the entire website will implode. It's like, I don't think I've gone to a worse website than Twitter. You can make a Reset Era account. Oh yeah, does Wolf do you know oh, about that? I, like some of the stuff they say. I, I don't know everything about it, but I've heard some stories. Mm -hmm. 
not the uh the brightest of bulbs or well <laughs> not, not the sharpest tools in the shed i don't even know that it's just they're fucking crazy people but yeah uh interesting to see the quotes from them but yeah the way this will work is just i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna read these and then give pauses where there are questions i suppose uh is everyone all good to go yeah i am ready wonderful so to start off we have love you wolf uh Wolf, our favorite N-word, we'll miss you. And we love you, you Wolf. Jeez. I know, they're not even using the correct verbiage. We've evolved now, people. It's Ewok. N-word is just out of date. E-word is uh, another one. <laughs> E-word. <laughs> That's um, funny. Love you, Wolf. Slice and dice, brother. Wolf, it's for the best, but we'll miss you. Be well. And uh, happy retirement, Wolf. May the dawn be with you. Wolf, have you seen Cosmonauts' video saying the Watchmen show is good, respects the source material, and those who don't like it aren't true fans? <gasps> yeah, I've seen it, <laughs> and it's uh, it's almost as though Cosmonaut Variety Hour just doesn't say smart things. That's not what you mean. Not, thought this was just something we established two years ago, at least. Well, I've seen so many of his videos now. That, like, it would be disingenuous of me to say, I'm sure he makes some good stuff. It's like, no, I've seen, like, fucking 12 of his videos. <laughs> Every single one is really unimpressive to me, so... Uh, that's actually on the roster for us to cover him as well. It, it, me and Rags have so much to get through. Yeah, boy, it's going to hold back a lot. Hmm? On Watchmen? Or No, no, else? on... Uh, he's... Uh, funnily enough, I, I said this to someone on Twitter, um... His prequels video was so bad that I ended up defending the shit out of the prequels. It felt really weird. And I was like, this will actually make for a good EFAP because we can talk about the prequels as well. Yay. Mm. Um, is that a new one or is that an old one? Yeah, uh, new. And he celebrated that it's probably his best video and that it's good that it got over a million views. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> okay. He's, uh, oh. he's an interesting dude, for sure. Um, we will all miss you, Wolf. The first EFAP I actually get to watch live from the jump. You guys uh, have meant so much to me. We'll miss you, Wolf. Stay safe. Wish you the best. Wolf, I'm glad what you feel is best for you. Uh, I hope it brings you as much enjoyment as you've brought all of us. Kick J. Good luck in the future endeavors, Wolf. My N-word. My e -word. Hey Wolf, it's been a super rough year for me as well. Wife left and parents are divorcing. Um, Jesus Christ. I really hope that you can find that peace. Sounds a lot worse than mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, sorry to hear I'm that. I'm sorry. Um, I felt your video on a gut level. I genuinely miss you. Hope you can find peace in your cabin. You have a cabin? Have no. A cabin That'd woods? be cool though. I don't know, man. Cabins in the woods, like I Rise is referencing, they're dangerous places. We should watch Cabin in the Woods. I didn't I like it. I love that movie. I didn't like it. Yeah. And you know what's funny? I didn't like it even though it's Joss Whedon. Bad Joss <gasps> Whedon fan. No, that's oh, a Joss Whedon God. movie? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I believe he wrote and directed with someone else, but yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, I thought it was thought it was funny. It was I think funny. that was my issue, is that I went in like expecting it to be more dramatic. Rather, I, I guess I wasn't aware that it was like a parody, and then I was like, God, this is really on the nose. Oh, um, I, I knew it was a parody going in. I, I didn't see it in theaters, but I, I really liked it. A pair of these nuts. <laughs> I don't know, I felt like everyone was really retarded, and then the only answer to that is, yeah, that's the joke, they are retarded. And I was like, um... I mean, uh, I, I'll say it's been a few years since I last saw it, but I remember enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, it, it does a good job of, I guess, making fun of, like, shitty cabin slasher movies, I'll give it that. Um, Why do you hate art? Why do you they hate art, Mr. Taxi Driver? Isn't that great? <laughs> because that's not art, that's fart. <gasps> you heard it here first, folks. It's fucking Listen, massive. I'll You're defend. a bad person, Rags. You can't, you can't ever criticize anything Scorsese's ever done. Literally he's, nothing. He's Whenever Jesus. we cover Joker, I will explain to you, and <laughs> as will Mahler, we will explain to you with whichever guest we have on why Taxi Driver is inferior to Joker. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I can't say anything because I've never watched it and don't. I really remember care. telling um, 
I think it was Fringy after the first like comparisons were getting made that I was like, I'm confused about the comparisons because this was like really early days. And I was like, I prefer Joker to Taxi Driver. And he was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh no, am I not allowed to do that? Oh fuck. I'm Gotta sorry. be careful. Uh, one last ride with Wolf. Cheers to you, Wolf. Uh, good luck with life, Wolf. Good, good luck. I have a final in two hours, but want to wish you the best in life, Wolf. I hope you find stability from somewhere healthy. Goodbye, my N-words. I hope you passed your final. Yeah, I guess... I can't, uh... I can't wish you good luck anymore. It's already gone. <laughs> so if you failed, I'm so sorry. You can give, give them can... retroactive good luck. You can send it back through time. Yeah. Good luck on your retake, if that <laughs> happens. He, like, sends a message like, I took it again and I still failed. <laughs> Like, oh man. In, in which case, may, maybe I'm the bad luck charm here. Was it meant to be? Uh, I'm really going to miss you, Wolf, but I understand why you want to go, so please take care of yourself and Hugh Catman. Love to Rags and Mola also. Why, thank you. Love. Good luck, Wolf. I wish you ev every happiness. Uh, every every happiness. Every one. Damn. Damn, that's a lot. Uh, hope it's to almost you... as much as one marijuana. Yeah. Hope to see you in the West at the end of all of it. Is that a Lord of the Rings reference? That, or it's a Colorado reference. Could be either one. We're going West. But I'm pretty sure it's Lord of the Rings. Goodbye, Wolf. You're still right about Ragnarok. Well, that's racist, isn't it? It's very racist. <laughs> that it's hilarious and amazing? <laughs> <laughs> that it's like middle school humor and has a really retarded plot? Fucking hilarious. <laughs> Middle school humor? I mean, if that's what it's called, I, I like it. Uh, farewell, Wolf. Thanks for all the entertainment that you provided on YouTube. Maybe one day we can meet in other circumstances. Wolf, because of you, I'm listening to The Expanse. Now I've even finished book one and I'm hooked. It's great. Um, mm. Mola, give hey, him... <laughs> oh, go ahead. It's funny. Book one, uh, when, when I re-listened to it, it's probably the weakest of them i still really like it but like it gets really good after book one book two is really good book three and four they slow down a lot book five is one of the best book six a lot of people don't like it i don't really understand why i enjoyed it <laughs> book seven it's all right its plot isn't great but then book eight is really fucking amazing you know most of that lined up with buffy for a moment there those, those ratings <laughs> I, was I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, I kind of. Well, bu Buffy season one's really bad. Expanse book one isn't bad. <gasps> it's just not... It's weaker compared to the no, others. Right, it's, it's okay. Buffy really is bad at season one. I wouldn't yeah. recommend it to anybody. It, it's actually almost downright horrible. But oh, without no. it, season two doesn't work quite as well. So you gotta, you gotta have your tisms with a side of... Uh, what's what's yeah. the good version of tisms? Good tisms, thing. Uh, uh, what is the good tisms? Mm -hmm. oh, Important that we get these words right. It's like shit. Like things can be shit, but also it can be the shit. Mm. Write that down in my desk. Um, write it down in your book of destiny. To let Doctor Deegan know. Doctor Deegan, I updated your book of destiny. <laughs> Goodbye, Wolf. Hope you find someone that you can talk to about your depression, as I have. It helps to the point that I don't know how I manage to live without take, talking to her every day. Uh, I truly believe speaking to someone you love and that loves you helps tremendously. Ha. Huh. You assume that I'm lovable. Pretty sexy. I'm, just, I'm putting it out there. I'm confident about it. God, uh, you're so you, got the, you got that Lex Luthor hairstyle going. And Kratos I'd go with at this point with the beard. Kratos. One for the road, Wolf. Hello, Wolf. It's been a wild three years. Thanks for the fun, and I hope you find what you need. Also, hello, woo, rags, ooh, woo, and Mola. Hello, woo, ooh, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I am a slave to the messages. What can I do, Wolf? Tell me. Uh, do you really think I just can't read these out? Is that even a possibility? I don't think I, I don't never like said that. so. It doesn't work like that. Uh, How dare you insinuate it's otherwise? Written in the Book of Destiny. Dr. Deegan. Fucking Dr. Book of Deegan. Destiny. The Book of Destiny. I looked it up, by the way. There is a, it, there's a, <laughs> it's called, their wiki is called the Crisis on Infinite Wikis. How adorable. 
Yeah, the, the, even the name Alex Crisis Earth. on Infinite Earths, it, it sounds like something a six year old came up with. I, you've seen you've seen some episodes. It, it, it is something that a six year old came up with. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, even when we are sad now, we are happy to have a chance to give you a proper goodbye. Lucky wishes for your future, and it was an honor to be a part of the happy side of your life. Lebewol unsigudlich, mein Freund, I can assume. You said my Fuhrer, what? Yeah, I know. Heil Hitler. <laughs> oh my god. You like said something really meaningful in German, you just go, Heil Hitler. <laughs> Heil Hitler. What could be more meaningful in German than Heil Hitler? <laughs> Uh, Wolf, best of luck to you, and keep writing. Sent this yeah. on Twitter, but Wolf, I believe someone with your skills and perspectives can offer a lot to the world. If you need help with a career slash job, uh, DM me, on, or we can correspond via mail. I will try my best to help you. Good luck. I'm afraid I don't know who sent that, but I mean, your, your Twitter's <laughs> uh, gone now anyway, right? Yeah. I'm gonna keep it that way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck Twitter. <laughs> Wolf, you've been a massive inspiration to me, and you've helped me hone my writing and critical thinking abilities. Thank you for being awesome, and I'm going to miss you. I wish you all the best, good sir. Woohoo. I'm going to miss you, Wolf. I always loved your vids, even the Alpha and Omega ones. Wish you the best, man, and I hope that things only get better for you. Those were funny. Wolf, because of you, I'm listening... Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, Wolf, uh, have you checked out Clamavi de Profundis yet? I have no idea what that is. Neither do I. Like a terrible, <laughs> I, I, I feel like, like a perfume. The, <laughs> it, it, it sounds like the, the way they phrased it makes it sound as though someone's recommended that to me before, but I don't remember ever hearing that in my life. Mm -hmm. Can you spell that in the Discord call? I can do that. Right, Detective Rags is on the case. Clamavi de Prof. Profundis. It should be, I guess, Klamawi, but it means um, we are a family that loves to sing together and record inspiring and uplifting music. It's a channel on YouTube, but I'm sure it's got a meaning. <laughs> um, uh, I was going to say, that's a, that's a very condensed version of that phrase mm. or sentence, rather. Um, it means, just tell me what it fucking means. <laughs> Uh, just put it into I need Google it. Translate. Yeah, well, I, I put it into Google. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. I called out from the depths, but it's like a band as well. Hmm. Really rolls off the tongue. Oh, I called profundis. out from the depth. That's a pretty cool band name. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's what they're talking about, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't, that sounds pretty awesome. Wolf, we're really gonna miss you, but go on and follow that dream. I have a quest I myself tried to. They have to. They have to say Kermit instead of Comet because <laughs> Kermit. This is Kermit suicide. Oh, uh, suicide. Okay. Yeah. Uh, your joke that's and video spoke to me, and I'm sure to many others. Please don't take it down. I think it's burn that bridge. Been <laughs> booped. Goodbye, Wolf. You'll be missed, but I'm glad you're doing what will make you happier. First super chat. Send this money to Wolf. It's not much, but it's something. Had to thank him for the thousands of hours of entertainment. Good luck and take care, you Apex N word. Hey, Apex, not bad. Wolf, best of luck. Hope you. I hope you go full Linkola. What the fuck is that? What does that mean? Do they mean? Did they mean to say Linkara? And if, in which case, why would you want to be Linkara? Yeah, I, that yeah. was that was what I was just about to say. Like, <laughs> oh my I, god! I, okay, fuck you too. I guess <laughs> <laughs> maybe Linkola is something that's really good. I don't know. Uh, best of luck, Wolf. I'm super bummed, but uh, bummed, but I understand. Also, hi Rags. Hello. You and Mola need to upload new content. I'm jonesing bad. I just put something out. The big I autism. was working on some earlier today, and it's coming along pretty quickly. And we just put out a combo video covering Batman becoming a psychopath murderer who hates the world, and then getting killed by Batwoman. It, it was great. 
Um, I loved was, it. Yeah. I loved every second. It feel, it just felt so real. It felt right. That's what Batman needed. Um, goodbye, Wolf. We'll, we love you. We'll miss you. But we ultimately want what's best for you. Take care of yourself, man. Here's to you of writing and rage. Depression is a very big gay. This last and final EFAP is yours. Let Tonald Loke give you guidance. Oh. Well, now that he's good, or at least that video was good, I haven't seen any of the newer his stuff last he's put out. Couple. I've been his okay. one on. Um, he did the one on, like, uh, escapism was it? Kind of yeah, escapism, and then he did the review of Fallen Order. So yeah, it's kind of he's he's doing stuff. Up. Um, can Both someone can someone make a farewell montage video of Wolf and the EFAP crew? Just something to remember the laughs and good times we've had. Goodbye, my N-word. I have a feeling there's probably some uh, EFAP Wolf highlights uh, videos that have been made. I think there's a couple of goodbye Wolf videos in the um the meme section as well. Uh, hey Wolf, thank you for the good times. From the perspective of an audience member, wish you well and the best. If it pleases you, can we get a final list of book recommendations from you? Again, thank you, kind sir. Ooh, you know, um, let's come back to that question at the end. I'll make a list, and All then right. we'll, I'll read that off at the end. Eating. Uh, discovered you after TLJ Wolf and have been following this wild EFAP ride since day one. I hope you find happiness and may Jeb be with you. Man, at this point you'll have Jeb, Don, and uh, Tone all guiding you. Oh my god, you'll be unstoppable. Live long and prosper, Wolf, you massive. He doesn't watch Star Trek. God. You don't he watch doesn't, Star Trek. but I heard it so good. That is a Star Trek ride. Who the doesn't? The only thing I... The only thing I know about Star Trek is that uh, I think I showed it to you, Mauler, that uh, uh, Next Generation Out of Context video. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny as fuck. Oh, I've seen one of those. Those are really funny. It, uh, it makes you wonder what the show is about, but you know, hmm. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not making any I, judgments. I, I, I genuinely don't want to know what the show is about. I want, I just want to know all those clips and not understand them. <laughs> have, you ever ne have you never seen TNG? No. It's really good. Is it though? Um, is it better than Taxi it? Driver? Uh, yeah, it is. TNG <laughs> is better than Taxi Driver. Oh my god, Wolf, listen to this guy. What the fuck? No, I, I can't believe we were ever friends with this. This creature. TNG is great. Oh, is it now? It is. <laughs> okay. First I have heard. Wolf, I've always loved your videos, and even if see them as bad, you still had an objective view that I can agree on. I wish the best of luck for you and hope to you find some fulfilling happiness. Hi, I Mullen. hope I find some filling happiness too. It said fulfilling, not full failing. <laughs> it said filling, not failing. Oh. Wow, Mahler. Well, English is hard, but I mean, it's still kind of the best language because most people use it, and that's kind of how we do objectivity here. We do um, like consensus. Oh yeah, that's right. Objectivity means a consensus. Whatever most people tend to say. That's, uh, oh, that's yeah. how we do it. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Hi, Mola. Hello. Hi, Rags. Hello. And hi, Wolf. Hey. I will miss you. Uh, I've been watching in the background for the past year, but I wanted to make sure I made it to this one to say my farewell to Wolf. Goodbye, you massive pine... Oh, wait. Goodbye, you massive pineapple pizza-loving water-is-wet n-word. Damn. Ugh. You did it okay the way that you did it, you absolute long jab. Good lord. <laughs> How dare you say that I'm a pineapple on pizza lover? So they called you a long jab. I don't know what to make of that. This is pretty fucking disgusting. <laughs> Wolf, we love you so much and wish you the best on your time away. Aside from that... I hope you all have a good stream. I need to do cleanup for my bed bugs are back. Oh my. Seems like they came oh, from the neighbors. You gotta, you gotta fumigate those guys out. Flamethrower is the only way. I almost forgot Merry Christmas Wolf. Goodness. It's been so long. Christmas is like a month ago. Grimbonium. Uh, Wolf, if you could delete the ST but you had to be Kathleen Kennedy's pool boy for a year, would you do it? Take this. You take one. Um, 
What what does uh, the pool boy entail? Exactly? I mean, it doesn't specify. I guess it'll be up to our imagination. Hey, pool boy, come on over here. Yeah, Tell I don't know. Star Ooh. Wars. Oh, God, I I, need I don't know. To be I, my I think I Phantom Menace. I've... Oh, no, we'll there's no reason why she couldn't trilogy. just make them again, though. Even if you did delete them, <laughs> she just yeah, makes it's more. Like she she could just hold off on doing it until later. I I don't I don't want to do that. Do you want to do it later? No, no. Well, Wolf did not take one for the team. Uh, love you, Wolf. Take care. I'ma miss you. My first super chat. Uh, please send money to Wolf. Thanks for great times, Wolf. Good luck out there. I hope you keep writing. The knight, the dragon, the king was excellent. I would love to see more. Um, I don't think that's the name of, of the book, right? I think a lot of people are no, under the impression it, now. It, it's really funny. I saw this. I, I don't know if it was on Reddit or in the comments section. Someone asked what the title was. And they're like, yeah, Wolf said it was called The Knight, the Dragon, the King about a year ago. And I was like, when did I ever say that? that uh, death of the that, author. That this never <laughs> happened. What are you talking about? Death of the author. They don't even get to decide the title anymore. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, I, that was just the name of the short, like the uh, the prologue, if you will. Or at least that's the name that I gave the video. The, yeah, that, that's the name you gave the video. That's not even the name of the prologue. It's the, yeah, I don't have a working title for the book. I was going to call it, when I first came up with the idea, I was going to call it The Last Night, and then Transformers happened, and I can't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, no. So I have to come up with a new title, and I don't know what to call it. So it, we'll call it's it, titleless uh, now. We'll call it 101 Natural Remedies for Anal Warts. Mm. Yeah. What I happens to, if Jeb would have won? A little bit there. Uh... Wolf, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Okay, that might be generous, but your videos are very insightful. Sorry to see you go, but do take care of yourself. Where does the gentleman and scholar thing come from? I've heard that before, but I don't know, I, I don't know the origin. Oh, right, it's, you'd know that. That's yeah, just... Uh, where does it come from? I don't know where it comes from, but it's kind of one of those things that everyone knows, you know? Mm. Everyone just knows that if you're going to compliment someone, you call them a gentleman and a scholar. Best of luck to you, Wolf. I hope you get well. Uh, thanks for all the laughs and enthusing, enthusing discussions. Enthusing? Is that a word? I don't know. I don't. Enthusing? No, enthusing. I've, I've never, never heard enthusing before. Yeah, I've not used it. I don't know if I, I haven't checked. <laughs> uh, enthusiast. Enthusing discussions, Wolf. You'll be dearly missed in your leave from the internet. I hope you to see you around in the future. But if not, I wish you the best. Take care, man. Muller and Rags, make sure Wolf keeps watering his jebs and promote his book when it's out. Please send money to Wolf slash Hugh Catman if he'll accept. Um, I imagine... What, what, is the, what is the idea with the, with the book? Are you going to want to keep that under wraps or to yourself or whatever? Like, I, I don't know, because people mean, are it, curious. It, there's no way it's going to be done for quite a while, and I don't even know how long that's going to take nor how long it's going to take if I can get it published in the first place. So it could probably, it could never happen for all I know. So mm. there's, yeah, I don't know. Um, hi, Wolf. I binged Alpha and Omega and thought of you. Oh, <laughs> Why the <laughs> hell did you do that? What's Is wrong with worried? you? Uh, I mean, Christ, I can't even think of any furries that would want to watch that. I mean, unless you're I don't know, really depraved. Those Very movies are torture. I I would say I salute you for doing it, but I, I don't want to... I don't want to... What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I encourage? I, yeah, I don't want to encourage other people to destroy their sanity by watching any of those films. Granted, the first film is, like, the most watchable, but that's, like, not a high bar. And everyone gets so progressively worse that you kind of wondered, like, can Ryan Johnson and D&D even do half this bad? Don't challenge those, those them. Are, those are really <laughs> terrible movies. Now that we've ruined Star Wars, we're moving to Alpha and Omega. <laughs> they can ruin the lore of Alpha You know there's Omega. actually a really insular but tight-knit community of super... 
uh, strong Alpha and Omega fans out there who are legitimately terrified of the idea of Disney acquiring the rights to and subsequently ruining the Alpha and Omega lore. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. That can't be true. There can't be an actual... I mean, I assume there's like there are. there's gotta On be a internet? dozen or so oh, yeah. viewers that actually like those movies, but I can't possibly believe that there's an actual strong community for that. Alpha and Omega <laughs> Wiki. Oh my god, it has a wiki. There is an Alpha and Omega Wiki. It's called Alpha and Omega Wiki. Oh whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> it's got it's meet the characters. It's got a featured article of August 2018, but you know, that's all right. It's still good info. They have all of the that far christ there's a character named runt and stinky <laughs> they named him stinky <laughs> what a fucking asshole isn't that one of the bakas from the halloween the halloween the the holiday special stinky baka or whatever oh, itchy stinky baka. Baka. <laughs> <laughs> oh christ yeah those stinky. are you're gonna give me some vietnam flashbacks with this shit that was horrible watching it well stinky baka. i'll take it over ryan johnson's contributions to Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> for two years people were like you skipped watching the fifth one go back and watch it and I was like no <laughs> I don't want to do that I don't want to Godspeed Wolf thank you for the content and for overall being a funny guy hope you will find happiness off the internet thank you Wolf for all the laughs and smiles we'll listen Monday hope all goes well Wolf couldn't imagine uh, why you'd want to leave this sunless state hashtag Michigan Brothers <laughs> my m words we have legitimate we've had not had like a day of sun in the entire month of january which is weird because there's not been like any snow until last night well then just attach a hose to your tap and just let it run these hose speaking of these hose it was it's been really warm here uh in arkansas the very very mild winter been nice and cold it in was britain three on christmas it was great it's been warm here like it has been for the past like five years. We've had a lot of shitty winters. I mean, warm winters? No, th those are good. Because mm. they're not cold. Mm. No. Cold winters are shit. Mm. Uh. <laughs> See, this is why me and Rags wouldn't be able to live together because I would way oh, prefer no, the cold air weather. Hurt my face. Oh, no. That's why you get face. a beard. Yeah. Or a mask. When you're outside, Baraclava. You, have to go, you have to wear specialized clothing to go outside to survive. Uh, so what? Oh, you dear, wear you clothing as is. <laughs> yeah, it's not very specialized. First off, no, Who I cares don't. If it's specialized. Off, it has to be super specialized where you have to cover your face. You say outside. that like it's some kind of crazy thing. I love my face. I don't want to cover you... up my face. I want people to what see are... my face, my beautiful, beautiful face. That's where it all I comes down to. <laughs> this is all. This all comes from a place of generosity and altruism. I've never at any point had to cover up my face, aside from if I'm in a blizzard, which why would I be outside in those conditions? Why why be around blizzards? Yeah, that was his question for you. I, no, I don't want to be. That's the, that's the thing. I don't want to be around blizzards. So don't go outside when there's a blizzard. <laughs> what if I got to go outside? What if I got to do stuff? Well, then you've, you you've planned to, okay. poorly, haven't you? Regs, what do you have to do outside for a long period of time during a blizzard? For a long period of time? Well, it's not just being a long period of time. It's stuff like traveling. Like, if I need to go to the grocery store to pick up milk. Should have stocked up. That was your fault. Yeah. Oh, well. well. You're in a car at that point. As long yeah. as you drive not retarded, then... <laughs> not I retarded. don't know. I don't know. I drove through a blizzard last night. I you survived. Nah, it doesn't sound like it was much of a blizzard. It's probably a weak-ass blizzard. Motherfucker, I remember, I, I used to live in Texas when, well, I don't remember. It's just my dad told me when I was really little, we lived in Texas. And, like, the state would fucking shut down if there was, like, a light dusting of snow. It's like, you guys are pussies down here. So, two things. Firstly, I have not fucked my mother a single time. Second, I have a, I, I drive a, a, a Mazda uh, Miata, which is not fantastic for the snow. I don't even know what that looks like. Hold on. Mazda, well, Mazda, M Mazda Speed MX-5. That's a tiny-ass little car. One of them gay yeah. cars. And the bitches love it. It's actually good that I got it because it limits me to only taking one person home at a time. It's put a limit on my depravity. 
you, uh, yeah, I gotta you clearly don't use the legacy. boot space then. I like that much more. Boot space. <laughs> Install the womb space of my car's womb space. Womb space. <laughs> womb space. What the hell's a womb the space? The boot. Rides? What do you guys call it? The trunk. Yeah, we call it the trunk. I know what you mean. It's just funny to call it. The no, boot. that's what you. Boot's that. just a funny word. <laughs> you turned into womb. Like what? Boot. The boot. Okay. Uh, no, like no, we're not going to be Canadians here. Canadians. Talking about the boot. Wolf, your voice sounds exactly like my best friend's. He even has a propensity to rant like you do. Just wanted to let you know. Oh my god, he yeah. must know you. Mm. I'm giving you this money willingly, as I'm grateful for the hours of enjoyment. Good luck, man. Very, very friendly and kind. I don't always make it to the live streams, but I've been around since episode two. Just wanted to say we'll miss you, Wolfie. Oh, and they had a little kissing emote as well. Oh my right god. Here. I think you you can put them in your boot space. Oh. <laughs> In your womb space. Wolf, no. I love you like your own dangus. Gonna miss you. <laughs> I love my me? dangus. There's also ways to interpret that. Like, they love that you like your own dangus, or that they love you like they love their own dangus. I... I choose to oh. interpret the first version, that they love the fact that you love your dangus. Do you love your dangus, Wolf? I... yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. What a wonderful world we live in. Wolf worryingly woes weaponized wombo combos. I don't know what to make of that. Hey Wolf, you've brought so much joy to me and my girlfriend's life. Thank you for that, and good luck with everything. You will be missed. Farewell, Wolf. You're a fucking oh God, legend, a sir. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? For your sake, get well, and don't come back to the internet like Brett Keane. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, <laughs> why is that the comparison? <laughs> no. <laughs> At least I'm not Brett Keen. Wishing you the best in life, Wolf. It's great that you're aiming for better, and for what it's worth, your content helped me get through some really bad times. May the dawn bless you, our favorite N-word. Uh, Wolf, you seen any bad anime or manga? <laughs> yeah, I'll, um, have I seen bad anime or manga? Yeah, there's there's a good chunk. I uh, watched like two or three episodes of fuck, what's it called? It's really weird. Um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. What? No. Uh -huh. Fuck, I don't <laughs> remember what it is. It's it's like some there's like this anime where like there's this living costume that like rapes the main character, and I was like, <laughs> what? what the heck? What the hell am I watching? I'll tell you this, anime have oh. all of the craziest storylines, don't they? Yeah, it's really bizarre. That one I couldn't sit through. Uh, I haven't read as much bad manga. I can't think of any of... Well, no, there was like... Probably gonna mispronounce it, but Akame Ga Kill. I like read maybe the first 50 pages and I was like, this is garbage. <gasps> You probably upset somebody. There's a fan of every anime that ever existed, I think, out there. There's some fan of Akame Gakil out there who is mm -hmm. going, oh, I can't believe it. Akagame Makial. Yeah, it's, it's uh, one of the best from uh, Colombia. Yeah, it's Shinji Miyazaki made the Totoro trilogy. Oh, he's the one who made Bloodborne. Agaki Kamuchi. Shoji Tabuchi. <laughs> <laughs> I know that reference. That's good shit. Nice. High five. Wolf, for you. You introduced me to EFAP. I will forever love and respect you for it. I also have Asperger's, so I only wish you the best. We're all gonna miss you. P.S. Keep reading Berserk and watch Jintama. Excellent comedy. I haven't watched that, but I am through the first... Oh, there's three volumes? It's the first nine volumes of Berserk. I really like oh. it. Hmm. Wolf, thanks for being such a legend. Thanks to you, I've discovered The Witcher and Expanse books. I love them so much. Live long and prosper, man. Why do people keep throwing Star Trek at you? God. I'm supposed to say the other stuff, like Lord of the Rings stuff, or... You like that Star War film, right? Hey, who's to? <laughs> There's people um, in like a comment section saying, like, we have to now admit that Star Wars is a bad franchise with some good films, rather than a great franchise with some bad films. 
That's I was been like, the case for quite a while. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, haven't we been there for at least since The Last Jedi? Like, it's been a while now. I mean, I would argue it was there before uh, Disney took over, because as, <gasps> as, as much as people love the EU, there's a lot of garbage in the EU. Oh, well, well. We need to have a Stexit. I remember the time that someone completely ripped off the plot of Dead Space and put Han Solo in it for, like, six pages at the end of the book. That was great. Oh. That sounds great. I play Dead Space as Han Solo. I'd play Dead Space as Han Solo. Well, he's he's a cameo at the end of the book. He has like no relevance to the plot whatsoever. Oh, thank God! Then they can't ruin him. <laughs> That's where we're at with everything now. <laughs> thank God they can't ruin him. <laughs> Is the T Rex in the new Jurassic World? It's like no. Thank God they can't ruin him. <laughs> they already ruined it. Yeah, T-Rex is fucking- the T-Rex is the hero. He keeps popping up and eating the villain at the end of every movie, it's so weird. I, I can't believe we're gonna have to see another Jurassic World next Where year. they're taking over the world. It's so weird, they said that they don't want to show dinosaurs in urban environments, and I was like, so then what's the plot gonna be? What? <laughs> I thought that was the yeah. whole point. Yeah, it's like, well, isn't that- what you were going for? I honestly thought these two f movies, the whole reason they made them was to go to this one where they're like, Dinosaurs are all over the earth, oh my god, ba -ba -bing, oh my ba -bing. god, dinosaurs in Hollywood. No, they're gonna probably go with the stupid military thing where they have like... No. Panthers with machine guns <laughs> like on their Marines on T-Rexes. But you really gotta wonder, like, how retarded are the people that actually make those movies? <laughs> like... You'd, you'd they make loads of money, I don't know. <laughs> You'd think they dropped the military angle after everyone made fun of it the first time, but then they were like, no, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to make a laser gun that points at someone oh my God. to tell a raptor to go kill him. And it's like, well, why don't you just point a normal gun at them? Yeah, because I have trigger. a laser sight on my gun, and when I point the laser at something and pull the trigger, a bullet in it, goes and attacks it. it. I don't yeah, understand. It, what is this bullet thing? How is that more efficient than a dinosaur attack? I don't understand. Imagine how much a dinosaur craps every day. Exactly. How much it, you have to feed it shit tons. Imagine how much a T Rex needs to eat. You'd be like, oh, I gotta feed my bullets today. <laughs> he was like, no. Nope. One guy just kills it when it runs at him because he has a gun. And you're like, oh, well, that was. Hmm. Even fans of it must be like, yeah, I wish they didn't do that. Like, just, just don't do that bit. There's gotta be something else you could do for a plot line for, like, why people would want dinosaurs. The collectors, they kind of did that, but yeah, I mean, like, maybe like in no way is... since there was only one good movie in the first place, and they just get worse and yeah. worse every time. And there's more to come. <laughs> yeah. When is the next one coming out? That would be 20, I want to say 2022, maybe 2021. I'm not sure. It's not this oh year, though. God. How old will dinosaurs be by then? Like 302 trillion years old, 302 trillion years old, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's old. They're gonna be all wrinkly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope they put like I hope they make them colorful with feathers and stuff like they really were. That'd be super sick. They actually no, they can't do that. They account for that because you know that they couldn't market it well if they had the floofy feather dinosaurs. So they're like, they had that the the doctor guy be like, I made those genetic changes you wanted so that people would, you know, prefer the way they look or something like that. They were like, see, we acknowledge that they had feathers. Leave us alone. Full writing, guys. Look into talk. it. <laughs> you can't show accurate depictions of the dinosaurs in a movie series like this, because otherwise people won't watch it. We can't make good movies. People won't watch it. I want to see a T-Rex that's full feathers, and it makes weird noises. Yeah, they're like, basically, like, gr they're like groundhogs. You know, I saw this video. I don't remember who it was by, but it was like a realistic noise for a T Rex because, like, I, I guess the roar, as cool as it sounds, is uh, not realistic. Like, it would blow out its ears or whatever. And uh, it, it's just like these weird, creepy snuffing sounds it keeps making. Hmm. Well, they had some of the fucking weird in the movies make some really creepy kind of squawks to them. Yeah. I guess the T Rex roar is kind of like iconic at this point. They can't not have it. Like that's just yeah, one of the Yeah, I, I understand. It, it's just kind of cool if there would be like a actual realistic right, dinosaur listen. movie. Yeah, it will do. 
do we we'll do? throw Charles Darwin into the Lazarus pit and we'll bring him back so he can tell us about the dinosaurs. Wolf doesn't know what the Lazarus pit is. <laughs> oh my god! It's Wolf, you're missing out. Better general. It's a puddle in North Dakota. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? Wait, there's a thing called a Lazarus. I, I was a, in my head, I was thinking like this dark foreboding hole in the earth and like some mountainous abandoned region you're telling me it's a puddle in north dakota a puddle in north north dakota defended by a confederate general it's it makes sense <laughs> you, it, it don't make, it don't make it sense, makes sense you if you thing. think about in, it yeah. in my head i was like man this is gonna be like some awesome looking <laughs> yeah, chasm like they have to in go the to earth. atlantis or something the lost city of Tihu Waktal in the middle of the God. Brazilian rainforest I'm, I'm gonna, or something. I'm going to go on deviant art and just see if there's like someone who's made a better artistic depiction of what a Lazarus pit would look like. Pretty Lazarus. sure every like DC property that has portrayed it has been better than in the stupid Infinite Crisis thing. It, this is literally like they, they just like came across a pit of water. Like a puddle, and we're like, well, uh, the, the Lazarus pit is unassuming to the eye. I'm like, you got that right. I, I'm just gonna make the recommendation of don't look up Lazarus pit in deviant art. Okay, the Lazarus <laughs> pit. That, that was a stupid the idea. The last Lazarus Lazarus. Pit. You went to deviant. You went to deviant art. That was your first stop. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to see. Yeah, Google images would have been safer. <laughs> I thought autistic things on DeviantArt might be at least more entertaining, but instead it's like pictures of like random people and like scribbles by five-year-olds. Let me see. <laughs> Lazarus Pit on Google Images. Uh, this is showing a dude in like green goop who's not wearing anything. Oh. This is... Is he hot? <laughs> well... Is the zombie hot? <laughs> Hold on. Let me... Let me show you this, and you All can. Right. I, I'm not digging the facial hair style, but the rest of it. Well, that's just dudes. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely he's very healthy. Definitely takes care of himself, which you must have to do if you're coming back to life. I suppose that's probably that's really racial cool. Man, there's not even like a cool. There's nothing on Lazarus Pit that looks cool. Oh God, this one just shows a pool here in like some random building. Well. That's still an upgrade, maybe, from oh. the puddle. Oh, well, I haven't seen it. Tell me if this is an upgrade. Oh, to what's in the show? Yeah. That's yeah, a I fucking so. Titanic upgrade. <laughs> what it looks is, way cooler. <laughs> what is, is this in Crisis of Infinite Earth, then? Or? Yeah, when we were talking about puddle, Christ. like, you meant like a, like a puddle. <laughs> I, do you have... Nothing's coming up on Google Images. You know, but... just watch, watch the, the tisms that we did. You'll see it. Is it the one that came out today? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. You'll see the Lazarus Pit and its guardian in all of their oh, glory. So all their southern glory. So bad. The south shall rise again because we fucking threw it in the Lazarus Pit and it came back to life. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> um, hi, Wolf. Howdy, Raggolds. Hello. Hello there, Mauschlub. Hello. Hello, all my lengthoids in chat. Molesbury, can you give this to Wolf? It's great to have this final fap with you three watching TLJ and Tonald vids. Wolf, before you go, can you please say goodbye, all my N-words? Goodbye, all my N-words. I'll have to get you to say that as closing on the on yeah. part two. It'll be great. I'll put that in the, the book list. Um, Godspeed, Wolf. May the Force be with you. See, that makes more sense than Live Long and Prosper, because you you hate Star Trek. You've been very vocal about that. Will the Force allow me to, um... Yes. I don't know, just, ma <laughs> just magic shit into my... <laughs> <laughs> what Rag said. Yeah, I know. Oh. Uh, I guess I should say, um... The Rise of Skywalker is one of the worst movies I've ever watched in my entire life. And I'm never watching another Star Wars movie again. See you next year, Wolf. Wait, you didn't like you'll, it? You'll, what, you'll what's not it. to like? Yeah, it had Babu Frick in it. Yeah. <laughs> Babu fucking Frick, man. <laughs> also, yeah, I'm shutting Disney movies until they go through like some renaissance. They need you to puberty? get their shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that, you see, they went through that like 20 years ago and then they regressed. I don't know what you mean. The Lion King remake was fantastic. Yeah, it was great. The way Long the thing lives ends. the king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he like pitifully slaps him off a fucking <laughs> rock. 
I was oh. bringing Ian Muller and myself watch some clips from the Lion King remake. Oh, that was, was not fun. Terrible. We it was can all, like, bring like, back James Earl Jones, but no, we can't bring back Jeremy Irons, who has just as an iconic voice. Yeah, I doubt that Matthew Broderick is doing that much these days. Get him back. Get all of them back. But they're yeah, we'll white. See if Matthew Broderick is they're running white. over anybody else. At least they got James Earl Jones. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who sounded so fucking bored the entire time. <laughs> He's he got was... the old tisms now. Is uh, but there's still nobody who could do a better Vader than him. Like even if he has old tisms. You what gotta wonder, like, like do you think he's just like fucking sick of being asked to come back and do the same things he did did forever ago? <laughs> did <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, probably to a degree. I mean, didn't Mark Hamill eventually say, like, he doesn't want to do any more Joker? Because it's just, he's done so much fucking Joker. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, for voicing, anyway. Because uh, at least, you, is it in the Arkham games he, he, like, stopped, I think? I can't remember. Do you think he would have even bothered to come back if he knew beforehand mm, that I George think he Lucas would say no. wasn't? I think he'd say no. And I think he would be like, uh, Carrie Harrison, just get in and get out get your money because this shit is not like it's just not something he, he wanted to do it seemingly because uh the fans wanted it and his friends wanted it not because he was like hey money well yeah, i imagine he's got plenty of money i mean now he certainly does especially because he just had to show get, up ruin his character and leave didn't he get like four million dollars for just appearing on set in the force awakens Probably, and he was not happy about that, so you can imagine the money really isn't making a difference to him. Um, it just ain't about the money for a lot of people. <clears throat> Goodbye, Wolf, and good luck. Your content has been very helpful to my own writing, and listening to you and Rags is one of the things that helped me accept my own bisexuality. Also, you're a oh, 6 out of 10. Yeah. 6? That's above average, bro. Yeah, that's bro. above average. That's above average. That's uh, I, I, rem more rem generous than I would give myself. Oh, is you racist? Would you rather be a random woman or Brie Larson? Are we going over this obvious question again? Oh yeah, didn't you? I mean, the obvious answer is yes. <laughs> Wait, would you rather one of these two things? And the obvious answer is yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, you, I'd rather be Brie Larson, absolutely. Wolf, is that your answer as well? Just so that you can let people yeah, know. Yeah, I already I answered so. this before. Yeah. yeah. EFAB chat, you know, we love you, but you're insane on that one. I'm sorry. There's some fucking ugly ass bitches out there, man. I don't know. I want them like, to re roll the, the, and end the, up the, with the like only... Amy Schumer Mama and be like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on. Brie Larson, like, she's a horrible person and she's not particularly attractive, but goddamn. Yeah, she looks you, fine. Do, she's do you not really, ugly. Do you really want to take risk the risk it? of ending up as Mama June as opposed to her? <laughs> I like the, the threat alone. The like, threat. <laughs> like, come on, guys. There's a there's a correct answer here. Yeah, and man. If it's you not Brie Larson, oh. then it's incorrect. They must just there really think they're going to be lucky. Foul, yeah, foul looking you, you, women. You're, out pu there. you're putting some. You're putting way too much faith in the idea that you will appear as anything other than a horrifying monster. Wow, <laughs> that's how Wolf feels about many well, women in this I mean, world. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Christ, go on like any dating website and look at like the majority of women on there. Uh, thanks, Wolf. Thanks for the laughs. Thanks for brightening many of my days. Thanks for rekindling my interest in reading. Thanks for leading me to EFAP. Just a massive thank you. Stay safe, Wolf. We are rooting for you. Love you, you massive. Uh... Wolf, you are my absolute favoritest massive. I hope you find the happiness you deserve. The prequels are objectively good. Take care, my N-word. Oh. Do I even need to ask who that was? I don't know who these are because they're all copied instead of... Uh, oh, I'm pretty it. sure I know who that was. <laughs> the, the prequels are not that objectively great. Oh, how fucking I mean, dare you. I just don't... I just don't... just don't see it, man. Just because the sequels are worse doesn't mean the prequels are good. Uh, Wolf, it's sad to see you go. Your not-so-great debate video has gotten me through so many boring days at work. Thank you for the laughs, and good luck with your future endeavors. Can you imagine someone listening to that debate every day? <laughs> <laughs> Let's assume they watched it three times over the course of maybe two years, but I do love the idea that people would return to it, because it was such a... F 
That happened so out of nowhere. It was just like, hey, I'm gonna have a debate with a guy, I wanna come? And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he called him a boy. <laughs> uh, I wonder, what? wonder what he thinks of Rise of Skywalker. Disney fanatic. Oh my universe. goodness. He probably loves it. Or maybe he hates it. I don't know. Either way, he expects us to buy the Blu ray. I mean. <laughs> I mean, you guys are going to buy it's the Blu-ray, right? <laughs> I it's love it how you shat on him for like an hour, and he's like, you guys are going to buy the Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> he seems yeah, so, like, yeah. deer in headlights. Like, it's Star Wars, though. Like, he literally <laughs> couldn't comprehend that people didn't like Star Wars. <laughs> it was legitimately just, something he just couldn't fathom. I, I remember loving, like, the, the utter bewilderment the two of us had when he asked us if he if we were going to buy the Blu-ray, like, why on earth would you think we would answer yes? <laughs> like, no, no, you misunderstand. We think it's shit. <laughs> but, but it's Star Wars. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I know. As, as soon as he said that, it was like, oh, there is literally no point talking to you, is there? Speaking of Blu-rays, I believe Joker has come out on Blu-ray either now or soon, which that's something yes. everyone should buy on Blu-ray because it, no. yes, it's not like Star I Wars. I bought it yet, but I plan to. Oh my goodness. Uh, Wolf, farewell, you massive. I just want to thank you, Wolf, for changing my life. If it wasn't for you and your videos, then I'd be a very different person today. I will always be grateful to you for this. I will miss you like crazy. Hi, I hope Wolf. he doesn't grow up to be, like, the Unabomber or something. Oh my. Just, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> like, he, your videos changed me into a different person. He becomes, like, some terrorist a few years from now. After like, watching oh. your videos, I knew the world had to burn. <laughs> <laughs> Too many IPs. We have to protect them by sealing their fate into the grave. You're like, oh. I can't destroy them if they're all dead. And then right at the moment, he's about to press the button. Someone explains, but if you destroy them, they'll never be undestroyed. And he's like, oh my god. And then it's a really peaceful, happy ending. My and then Disney troll. reboots it and ruin it. Hi, Wolf. I only knew about you this year, but you and the whole EFAP crew have provided me with hours of lulls while I work on and on my commute. I wish you the very best in the future. Also, I know what a Y-Wing is. Bye, Wolf. Oh. Do nice. you now? I don't Probably. believe him. Tell him the truth. I don't either. I, I have it on good authority that most people don't know what a Y-Wing is. Uh, please give to Hugh Catman so he'll take care of Wolf on his road. Thank you for the good times, the laughs. I hope you find what you're looking for. I saw your goodbye vid, Wolf. I wish you luck with your offline life. I hope you get well. It's been a fun ride, even if I only found you from EFAP. And, um, uh, this ends with uwu. Oh dear. So Sorry. sorry. Uh, yay, Wolf's back. What's your opinion on the book The Road? Oh, I actually just finished that, like, a few days now? Uh, a few days Literally from... minutes ago. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, I really liked it. It was, it took me a while to get used to it because I mean, if anyone reads it, it's not written like a book is typically written. And that was a bit of a learning curve, but man, is that a, that's a rough book. Just like the movie was a rough movie, but it was very good. I really liked it. I actually put that down as one of the books I was going to recommend people. Mm, sweet. Also, goodbye, Wolf. You provided me with hours of meaningful, funny content. Wish you the best for the future. We'll miss you, Wolf, you fairy bastard. Ooh, they wrote bastard with an at. Clever. Uh, farewell to you and your future, Wolf. Farewell to your future. That's not... <laughs> oh. Phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, oh my god. You have helped me get through many work days with your videos and on EFAP, and you showed me the greatness that is Ori. May the dawn watch over you, my favorite N-word. Oh. Ori is good shit. Mm-hmm. Thank you and good luck, Wolf. May dawn guide you. Like I said, man, everyone's gonna be guiding you. This is fucking... It's like cheat codes. Currently watching EFAP 40, but I had to say goodbye to Wolf. Countless laughs through the years, and it's a shame to see you go. Merry Christmas. Uh, would also like to recommend Worm Book to Wolf. Does that sound familiar? Worm? Worm? That, is it spelled with an O or a Y? An O. Okay, let me see. Worm Book? A oh, Worm Book. Maybe a book about worms? I don't know. Talking about worms. Worm Book. 
This is probably going to come up with like a biology of worms book. Worm poop is by John C. McRae, maybe? Possibly. Worm is a self published web serial by John C. Windbow McRae. What? <laughs> Windbow. Is- no, no, no. <laughs> Wild Bow. Wild Bow. Why do you get the cool nickname? What, Windbow? <laughs> No, Wind no, wild, no, I was, I was retarded. Wild bow. Worm, worm bowels. Oh, no, it keeps getting worse. Oh, God. John C. Worm bowels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Oh, bowels. Dear. It's actually Dr. Bowels, please. <laughs> <It's> Dr. Bowels. <laughs> uh, farewell, Wolf. Good luck on your future endeavors. No time to watch, but goodbye and good luck, Wolf. Farewell, Wolf. I wish you the best. Wolf, you inspired me to start and complete my first art project. Not sure how a pizza-eating wolf became a muse, but here we are. Also, hi, Mauler. Hello. Take care, Wolf. And uh, this is this was a request to make sure you heard this. Um, so, Scooby-Doo and the Angry Jew. That was the uh, the joke we came up with with the, the Jenny Nicholson initial stream, I think. And then, and Zach Gilbert said, uh, let's see who this ghost really is. Pulls off ghost mask. Gasp. Old man Goldstein. I, I think it's supposed to just be that he's a Jew. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> I guess the joke is he's a Jew. <laughs> Nailed it. Hilarious. Um, but I disavow. Oh. Uh, here's I one for the road. Disavow. Wait, what'd you say? What'd you say I about Jews? I disavow. Wow. Uh, here's one for the road wolf. Take it easy, man. You've earned it. Hope this is seen, since there are so many. Wolf, you owe it to yourself to find happiness out there, and I hope with every fiber of my being that you do. Love you, brother, and good luck out there. Uh, farewell, wolf. You will be missed. Not sure if this is the best or worst time to send my first super chat, but here it is. It's tough to see you go, wolf, but I wish you good luck with everything. Take care of yourself, my N-word. And they had uh, wolf milk after that. Don't know if we want to experiment seeing if wolf milk is possible, but I mean, it would make sense. I mean, to some wolves degree, do right? have milk, though. They're mammals. Well, I'm I'm talking about like acquiring it. It's not going to be the uh, the easiest of tasks, especially sucking if we're on, sucking on some. Well, tubes. I mean, if you want to go ahead, you know, just report I'm back. Sorry, one, I'm just explaining how it works in the wild, in how the... it works in Alpha and Omega. Oh, <laughs> do you know this because of the art work? Is this? Is that oh, Christ? Oh, I I assume that was in the movie, right? Oh. Or did I watch some? Because it wasn't very high quality. It was only about a minute long, and it kept looping over and over. Maybe it wasn't the official movie. <laughs> Maybe it was some weird fan project. I don't know. Um. Anyway, carry on. Wolf Ray is a better character than anyone from Lord of the Rings. Changed my mind. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. my goodness! You, you see. Oh my God. There's not even like a mind to be changed. It's like, oh, you're you're dead to me. <laughs> and it follows up with XD JK. I love Lord of the Rings. I just wanted your reaction. It's okay, Wolf. Colon capital D. No, semicolon capital D. Ha ha. LOL. Why you didn't say L M A O, dude? Lamau, boys. Gonna miss you, Wolf. Hope you find that happiness, you absolutely beautiful mass of you. Farewell, Wolf. You got me back into writing, and I thank you for that. Now I'm gonna go jack off to Two Kinds fanfic now. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. These people need to get these messages to you before you leave. I, I, it's important. <laughs> uh, I need I to let you know what I've masturbated <laughs> to. Because this is past what? tense, which means they did it. They're done. Why are you like this? <laughs> I hope that you had a great Why are you time. the way that you are? <laughs> I support you. I don't. <laughs> I do. Wolf, despite what you say about your work, you are a talented writer. You've inspired my view on media as well as motivated me to write. I hope you find a peace of mind and happiness in your departure. Lastly, hi Rags and Mola. No, no, hello. Sorry I'm late. I was too preoccupied. Preoccupied. That's, I'm putting that into... I can oh I can put it into Goodell actually because oh. it's a part of a a hey. so oh they were gonna goodness. say I was too preoccupied with castrated rams remember remember that no so they used a word they they'd spelt a word wrong 
when they were referencing uh, Malcolm's thing from Jurassic Park in a statement. It was some oh, video I we were watching. Vaguely remember this. And the word meant castrated rams. And so it was, was you were too preoccupied were? with, I think it was weather, and they'd spelt it wrong. Let me check. Um, Some variation of I the word I think it weather. might have been, hold on. What's the word for castrated rams? <laughs> weather. Um, I think this might be how it's, oh yeah, no, W-E-T-H-E-R. -E -E yeah. Yeah, castrated a castrated ram. ram. <laughs> he spelled weather wrong. And... You're too preoccupied with castrated rams to, <laughs> to wonder if whether or not you should. <laughs> oh, that's a deep reference. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Oh my god. Anyways, it's been an honor, Wolf. I hope the best for you, and happy Christmas to all. Merry Crimbo. Wolf, you're a good man, and wish you the best of everything going forward. I'll miss you, Rance, dude. Also, hi, Rags and Mola. Love you guys, too. Oh. Hello. Hello. See you, Wolf. Good luck with your future endeavors. I hope you can find happiness in this life. I appreciate the knowledge you've shared. I've learned a lot from you, and thanks for the good times. Godspeed, Wolf. You will be missed. Um, tell Wolf we'll miss him and that I hope he gets well soon. It's been one hell of a ride. Maybe we'll see him in the future as a guest. Uh, I, w well, there's, there's, I imagine there's, you want to actually, like, sort of make this the last appearance of any kind, these two videos. Yeah, that ain't happening. Mm hmm Uh, Wolf Tool is just Smash Mouth for Virgins. Sma wow, the, the Chad Wait, Smash hold on. Mouth. Smash <laughs> yeah, I was about to say Smash <laughs> Mouth is for... Okay. Chads. Chads. <laughs> like, uh, take off your clothes while I put on Walking on the Sun. <laughs> I mean, it's a good song, but I don't know if I'd fuck to it. I, I yeah, I can't see myself like... Song. If I was going to tell someone what bands I listen to, Smash Mouth is the one I would keep secret. Mm-hmm. Which confirms that you do listen to them, then. I listen to the memes. You remember that that Evanescence one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Chat, look up uh, Bring Me to Life, but it's uh, All Star. It's really fucking funny. Wolf, as a fellow Asperger, I too struggle with hating my life. Uh... I'm glad to hear you're going to make a change, something I have been unable to do. Um, I, have I don't to know if this is supposed to be, like, a positive or, like, negative. I don't know either. Uh, I, I hope it uh, gets better wherever position it currently is in. Um, I have to go to a yes. SpongeBob viewing party and get drunk now, but I may be back later. If not, I goodbye, Wolf. I, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, we need to rewind. SpongeBob viewing party? No, oh. no, they could mean like it could be like a sexual thing. What? <laughs> what? That's even more confusing. Oh, I'm I actually. That make more sense. I'm okay with a SpongeBob <laughs> viewing party, <laughs> but a sexual SpongeBob uh, viewing party? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Hey. Like hey, Spongebob no I, pants. I, 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 <laughs> um, okay. Uh, goodbye, Wolf. You and the rest of EFAB have got me through a lot of long shifts. Part of the journey is the end, but damn is it bittersweet. So long, my M-word, and may your jebs stay moist and your bilbos milked. But anyways, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> may, may your bilbos be forever milked. <laughs> I, I don't... Oh god, that reminds me of that that 3D meme yep. where I was trapping <laughs> Bilbo. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Wolf, I and everyone else will miss you severely. You were always my favorite among the three of you guys. I hope you find happiness. Nova Mumelon. Farewell, my friend in Sindarin. Uh, Eru, watch over you. I don't know in if that's... Sindarin? Or Cinderin. I assume it's Cinderin. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I've definitely heard that before, but I can't remember Cinderin. Could be like Aunt Baru watching. Oh yeah, it's one of the languages Tolkien made. Me. One of the languages that Tolkien made. Not to be confused with the other ones that he came up with. He's a language man. He has been prolific. Yeah, I mean, he made Middle Earth too. He made Dothraki. Cleon. He he made it to put his languages in a place. He made French. 
Oh, sacré bleu. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. No, stop it. Uh, just stopping by to give this to Wolf as a goodbye. Also, I hope you're still finishing that book. It sounded amazing. I'll watch this later on Moolah. We uh, can't watch it earlier. Exactly. Fucking idiot. You will be missed. Uh -huh. Wolf, uh, wish you all the best. If possible, and if Wolf accepts, please give this to him. Unfortunately, I have to hop off for now, so I will catch this EFAP on the VOD. Very well. Uh, catch it on the VOD, yo. Wishing you the best of luck, Wolf. You are an amazing guy, and I could never thank you enough for the laughs and the lessons you've taught me. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep on until the end. And they've got a, a wolf emoji and a rock hand emoji and a heart emoji. Pretty good wolf combo. Wolf, rock, hand, heart. Mm-hmm. Wolf, pummel, I think heart. that's sexual in some way. Uh, hard rock. Wolf, wolf makes me rock hard. Yes. As a parting gift, I would like to recommend the Lord of the Rings audiobook narrated by Phil Dragish. You can find it on YouTube. It's pretty good. Dragish. Hmm. No. I, I think they were coming up with a name for it, and they were I, like, let's call it a drag. And they're like, no, let's tone it down a bit. Dragish. I have 250 more books I have yet to read. It's going to be a while before I get back to Lord of the Rings. You gotta make sure you read it at least once a month, right? Or or months once a is it you watch it once a month? I forget. Yeah, I watch it, but the books are a bit more of a time consumer. Hmm. Uh, I don't know how those are long movies. To Wolf, please, as a little thank you, uh I really hope you read my comment on you last video at around 170 likes. Take care, my friend. I wish you only the best. Thanks for everything, Leo from Germany. Um, I think that comment may be lost to time at this point, but uh, yeah. Be. But apparently, a lot of people saw it. Um, 170 people. Be not afraid. Was is good night for you to yeet. Also, hi, Wolfie. <laughs> 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 what a way to put it. <laughs> All right. I have to thank the EFAP crew for helping me get through 2019, as rough as it's been. EFAP had me laughing, so thank you. Also, hi, Rags. Oh, hello. Wolf, wishing you all the best in the next chapter of your life. I will always remember your epic takedown of Justice League and the epic TLJ rant. Oh, yes. Justice League was fucking horrible. Yes, it was. You know, if Fringy sent me uh, a tweet from some, like, someone who I would describe as being not well adjusted to society uh -huh. who was talking about how uh batman versus superman like the extended edition is like the greatest movie ever made <laughs> okay and i was he was like getting into arguments with people in the comments saying that they were mentally retarded if they don't see the genius in it and i was like are, are you a troll <laughs> but then but but then i looked at his twitter profile and Either he's an extremely dedicated troll, or the thousand retweets he's made of uh, people praising BVS is uh, something. He's gonna hashtag he's gonna flip release the war. The Snyder Cut. <laughs> Snyder Cut is will save the DCEU. It's gonna happen. I, I really want a Snyder Cut to come out. Like I even want it to have like unfinished CGI. Hell, don't even bother putting the CGI in there. Just have them fighting things that aren't there, and we'll we'll interpret it ourselves. Oh, like like the completed <laughs> Infinite Crisis episodes that they released. <laughs> Just stand in the middle of this construction oh site yeah, because because the weren't air. they like punching ghosts that weren't there? <laughs> <laughs> Are they like oh so bad? Like, don't even make a soundtrack for it. Just show them like give us the raw footage. No, just copy in... Batwoman's soundtrack and put it in. Dun 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 dun. dun. Wolf, you big massive, I'm gonna miss you. One of my favorite moments of your content was your freak out over Dan and Dan. Such a great reaction. Take care, and I hope to read your book. N word salute. It's funny, the Dan and Dan. I just couldn't <laughs> remember that his name was Dave. <laughs> Dan and Dan. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I realized, like, after I said it, I was like, no, oh, his name's not Dan. Something else with a D. But I was too mad at them to care. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, well, they're they're both pretty much the same 
idiot person, so. Greetings, all my N-words. It's been a fun hey. ride, Wolf. Gonna miss you, man. Uh, hope you find happiness soon. Drink plenty of rhino milk and may Jeb and the Dawn watch over you. Hi, Wags. Kick J. Hello. First ever Super Chat. If I don't stay for the entire stream, Wolf, I wish you the best in your future. Your writing inspires me to keep improving my own works. Ragzzzzzz, hello. Hello. Hope you are well. Mauler, okay. thank you for creating EFAP. Have a good day. Uh, no problem, and it was a, a collective effort, you see. EFAP is a, a glorious collaboration between tisms against tisms. It was, it was a wonderful thing. You know, Tonald is, is very much responsible, too. Wolf, all I'm going to say is that we will all miss you and love you and support you and your decision to leave after years of enjoying you and the EFAB crew. It's sad to see you go. Please have a good life and live to the fullest. Uh, thank you for the kind parting words on Twitter, Wolf. I hope you have the same. Good luck. Wolf, your presence on YouTube has impacted my ability to critically critique media. You will be sorely missed, but I understand why you must go. You're a talented writer, and I wish you the best. Goodbye. Uh... Hi, Wolf. Glad you're doing okay. Will you continue to write The Knight, The Dragon, The King? I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> 100 vulnerable uh, remedies for anal warts is what it's called. <laughs> I, I'm working on the second draft. It's nowhere near close to being finished, though. And that's not going to be the last draft either. That's just the draft I send to people to tell me what I fucked up so that I can make more drafts after that. Yeah. Why, why can't you just sit in front of your webcam in 10 minutes and have, just give us the book? Yeah, why do you have to do multiple drafts? What's that about? Do you hate art? Mm hmm. Yes. You know, masterpieces right. of film were often created with the first drafts of scripts. Did you know that? Yes. Like The Last Jedi, like, like the last Jedi indeed. I wonder if Rise of Skywalker had the same thing. I have to imagine. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think so. As many times as, like, the all the different, like, all the reshoots and everything that they had to do. Yeah, the script yeah. was probably just that was a case. thing that had loads of pages stapled onto it and loads of post-it notes and coffee stains. It's just yeah. like, this is what's left of the script. I don't know. It's just like, oh god, oh god. Uh, care to the weather for us, Wolf? Wolf, you are one of the best creators on the internet with genuinely insightful videos and great laughs. I wish you all the best in your life and hope you can find something worth living for in life. Thank you for EFAP and helping me get through some hard times of my own. And rhino milk emoji. They need to make that one emoji at this point, YouTube. Respect the rhino milk, okay? Respect your content creator. Oh, we're fucked now. <laughs> uh, just wanted to say goodbye to Wolf. Hope you have a wonderful life away from the internet. Good luck in life, Wolf. May you and Hugh Catman stay safe and enjoy Halo on PC. Um, does uh, does Hugh Catman like Halo? To... You know, he and I would enjoy it more if there was an option to turn off the crossplay, because it's getting really fucking annoying with all the people that have like absurd aim assist on their controllers. They need it. Of course. <laughs> what are they gonna do without it? Uh, just wanted to say goodbye, Wolf, and I hope to hear more of the Knight, the Dragon, and the King. Working title. <laughs> I have to change it to like not and then that. Uh, <laughs> farewell to the based canine wolf and the rise of Grable established author. May the dawn be with you, my fellow massive. Love you, wolf. Thanks for joining EFAP one last time and giving us a final chance to say goodbye. Farewell and good luck, my N word. I'll miss you, wolf. Before you go, what did you think of the Tolkien movie? I refuse to watch it. Was that from the trailer that you refused? Uh, the trailer and uh, the uh, things I've heard about it. Which are? Because I feel like I've been out of the loop on that, outside of what you may have told me. Uh, they they removed um, the Christianity aspect of it. They're conflating his World War I experiences with uh, uh, his inspiration to write The Lord of the Rings, even though he said like numerous times that's not how it was. It's pretty disrespectful. Like, mm. 
I, I don't care what your religion or not religion is. I'm certainly not religious, but if you're going to make a movie on someone and their inspiration came from religion, you kind of need to show that. And it's really disingenuous not to. Mm -hmm. So I will never watch that movie. Fair enough. Wolf, I f, f word love you. <laughs> but I f word love you? I faggot love you? Is that how that works? <laughs> I just want you to know that. Uh, I will miss you, Wolf. Just wanted to say thank you, and I wish you luck in life. May you find the contentment and happiness you have provided to many. Rest in peace, Wolf? Oh my goodness. You will be missed, uh, but will live on in memory and inspiration for all your fans. I guess they just mean to the channel. No matter. I thought you just wanted to take a nap. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like, well, calm down. Dramatic nap. Like, uh, whoa. No matter what, we will all be here for you. Yes, ma'am. I've been enjoying y'all's work for some time now, and I've had a ton of fun and nice discussions on your Discord. Everyone else has said much more and far more meaningful things than I ever could, so see you around, Wolf. Uh, Wolfie Boy, will there be be able to find your book when you are done with it, and what will it be called? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you will probably be able to find it. I doubt you'll know it's from me, though, and I have no idea what the title's going to be at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Wolf, as sad as I am to see you leave, I'm happy you're doing what you think is best for you. I hope you do well in whatever you choose to do, as long as it makes you happy. Much love and goodbye. Love milk. I don't know love what that would milk. be, but... <laughs> love milk. I'm pretty sure we all know what love milk would be. Oh god, no. 2%? <laughs> uh, I've been going through a similar experience mentally for a lot of my life, Wolf. While I'm sad to see you go, I completely understand why. Your videos have got me through some rough days. Thank you. Uh, Wolf, you're bald Ewan McGregor with a better beard. Hey. What? Bald Ewan McGregor. Not bad at all. Better be it, you know. Uh, we will miss you, Wolf. We will be okay, and we will miss you. Thanks for all the effort and emotion you've invested over the years. Hope you find something badass to do that makes you happy. Uh, this one that just says, would be good. Wolf, I hope my biography turns out well. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just yeah, says, I hope so, too. I... I... Yeah, I hope you have a very interesting biography. <laughs> yeah, hope it hope it goes well. I guess. Yeah, have a good biography. Uh, Wolf, I if it's not mine, comp. It's not good. Just saying. Yeah, obviously, aim high. Uh, Wolf, you can't be trusted to judge the quality of your work. Make Rags do it. He doesn't have any feelings anyway. So if it's shite, he'll say it. Oh, well, there you yeah, go. Boy, <laughs> after I'd do it. I think Shad would be way too nice to tell someone their work is shite. Uh, you'd be mistaken. I sent him uh, the first version of the prologue I had, and I just told him, like, tell me if this is so bad that I should stop writing forever. And Shad really ripped it apart. Oh. <laughs> which is good, because that, that, I mean, that's what I told him to do, and I think he had a lot of very valuable criticism. Hmm. Good shit. Yeah, the, the prologue that you read off is not even remotely like the one that I sent him. I After he, I got uh, his feedback, I was like, yeah, maybe I should delete this entirely. And so that's what I did. Oh, so the one I read was post Dad's review, is it? Yes. The, the one you read is because of Shad's review. <laughs> Australian man bad. I mean good. <laughs> Wolf, I want to say you helped me a lot. I started reading books again because of you. This podcast... Oh, this is weird grammar. This podcast, but you especially... Okay, so this podcast, but you especially, have helped me grow as a writer. I wish you the best, and thank you for everything. I'm gonna miss you, Wolf. This vid is nothing but dismissive at context, rules, law, characters, and people because you can't defend a terrible film. Oh, you... That what was the Neryl video, uh, you remember? The TLJ video? That was, uh... Oh... It was a great yeah. way to, like, it's like a culmination of all of the terrible arguments we've heard over the past two years. It's like, yay! We did it. 
Uh, can we all just sit back and appreciate everything Wolf has done for us? We are eternally grateful. Best of luck. You got this. Goodbye, my friend. Wolf, I'm gonna miss you so much. And they used eight exclamation points. So, uh... Man, that's loud. You, you can tell that's he's like serious. Or it might have been seven, sorry. I didn't mean to over-exaggerate there. Not quite no. right. Well, if it's seven, then it's not enough. Mm -hmm. uh, goodbye, Wolf. I hope you'll find happiness to life. Uh, EFAP without Wolf will be like masturbating using your other hand. Yeah, it still gets you off, but it just doesn't feel <laughs> the same. Yeah, but it kind of feels a little bit different, you know? It's a different, it's a different experience, yeah. I, yeah. I can't believe I just... <laughs> <laughs> That's the... Feels like that, a that's the one you went with. All right. They paid money <laughs> for me to read that. I don't know. That's the world we're in. It's like, well, who is okay. this? Oh, I guess we'll find yeah, out. Like, like, look, okay. I mean, I can do it for you, I guess. Uh, when mm -hmm. people say take the L, this is what they mean. <laughs> Uh, farewell, Wolf. Me and my brother wish you the best of luck in finding happiness in life. Take care of yourself and Hugh Catman. Wolf, please keep your channel up so we can remember you. I'm afraid it's already yeah, that, that happened. It's a sad day to say goodbye, Wolf, but I'm glad I was able to enjoy many hours of you through your videos and EFAP. May the Cosmic Chicken bless you and the dawn be at your side. And hi, Rags. Hello. <laughs> I like that. <gasps> Before, it's like, <laughs> Rags is used to getting more highs, you know? Dwarves! Hey Rags, give this dosh to Wolf if he lets you. Uh, sure, absolutely. I will pass that right along. Not everyone hates you, Wolf. I don't. Most of the people who know you don't. That's Wait, the... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. They, did, did they give you <laughs> money and tell Rags <laughs> to give it to me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll make sure it happens. <laughs> it's it's a it's it's a system, you know. It's a series of tubes. Checks and balances, you know what they say. Uh, most of the people who know you don't. That's the evil of self hatred. Depression is anorexia of the soul. I wish you the best, and remember, happiness comes from within. God fucking speed. I have never heard depression refer referenced as anorexia of the soul. Interesting, uh, interesting idea, I suppose. Anorexia of the soul. Get that soul some don't. food. Anorexia of soul. I entirely disagree. Penal code. Best of luck to you, Wolf. Hold on and be strong. I have to head to work now, and I'll probably catch more of this later, but good e-fapping to you all. We're gonna miss the shit out of you, Wolf. Uh, good luck with everything. It's just good advice for your left hand. Just hold on and be strong. Yep. Wolf, what do you think of Rick Riordan's book series, like Percy Jackson, Heroes of Olympus, and Trials of Apollo? Uh, I read the first three or four Percy Jackson books a really, really long time ago. That was middle school, I think. I remember liking them. I remember despising the movie. And... I don't think I ever finished the Percy Jackson books, and I've never read anything else he's made. Fair enough. I uh, I only think I watched the Percy Jackson movie, or like half of it, and I gave up. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. <laughs> Did you know that Giles was in the sequel? No, why? <laughs> <laughs> because the, the actor who played the character in the first movie didn't want to come back, so he replaced him. He's a centaur baller. Oh, did he? Was it painful? No. <laughs> it, 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 yes. It, it, uh, a tauntaun. Uh, <laughs> it was. Uh, I thought they smelled it, bad on the outside. It, it is very, very bad. Poor Giles. Wolf, this is. Oh, wait, there was a second half to that. Also, I struggle with depression. I want to say you're not alone. I wish you the best. Uh, Wolf. For you, this is the first super chat I've ever sent to anyone, and appreciate you greatly. Please be well and long live EFAP. Long live EFAP. Uh, goodbye, Wolf. You were the first one I started watching out of the three of you massives. Three massives came together and created a very massive massive. Thank you, Joseph Anderson, for that word. <laughs> it's permeated right through. 
Thank just, you so much for being offended by being called a massive faggot, Joseph Anderson. He still hasn't actually seen the offending clip, by the way. Yeah, he, uh, he's just gone off what other people told him. <laughs> I just want to say, I love what you guys do on EFAP. I'm sad that you're leaving Wolf, but I understand your decision. So goodbye, and thanks for all the fish. Also, watch Star Crash. Thanks for all the fish? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh, what does this you... mean? Rags, your you're encyclopedic knowledge on EFAP will know the answer to this. What has fish got yes. to do with Wolf? What, is, what do fish have to do with Wolf? Mm -hmm. Well, Wolf, can you swim? Yes. There you go. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can think of is uh, I played Lost Ember, and it was like, like the best part of the game was playing as the fish because the physics were retarded it didn't make any sense and you could like fly 50 feet in the air playing as like a trout oh interesting but what, otherwise trout, i have no idea what else i have no idea what else he could mean by things for the fish uh yeah and also star crash is apparently from 1979 no idea what that is star crash does it star a star of some kind in star crash um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking it up. Uh. They got fighting robots, and mm. let's see. Yeah, look at some of Wait, these. Wait, did you say fighting robots or Viking robots? They, they well, they have swords, so. <laughs> so that they could still be either answer. <laughs> it... I want to see Viking oh, no, Robots, I, I, the movie. I, I do, too. Um, Get on this, Hollywood. And I don't know Viking if, Robots. Yeah, and I, and I don't know if we're supposed to see it because it's good or because it's bad. I'm going to go ahead and assume right, it's because so it's bad. Her belt, her belt thingy really stands out. Like, it just doesn't match up. You don't like her belt? You know? Yeah, like her belt doesn't match the rest of her outfit. It's just so bold and red with a black outline. Are you racist? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Oh, yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with the belt not matching. Oh, oh and I need to look this up. I don't even know what it is. Does what he have a this? lightsaber? Is that a No, it's what? a laser well, sword. Why does no. Luke... Why does Luke look like a retard? Um... Is this like some really shitty knockoff of? Oh my goodness, this is a character in it. He looks hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like Satan had a bad hair day. Oh yeah, let's go to. I want to go to this planet. Let's go. Let's go this here. Let's hang out here. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, boy. Okay. Yeah, that that looks like a good planet to go throw to. Throw a throw a dog into that room. Planet of the Female. The Planet of the Females. Some of these are kind of. I mean, they got little. They got. You got your robots with swords, you know, as one would have in their. Uh, in Look, their. Viking robots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Well, now yeah, that's that movie, I guess. Guess so. I'm glad we now know of it. They shock the Etoile. Hello, Moller and Rags. Hello. Hello. Farewell, Wolf. Well, this is Farwell, Wolf, which... Uh, hope you get far, far well. <laughs> um, press N for my favorite N-word. Bye, Wolf. I'm picturing a lot of N's in the theoretical chat. Yeah. Goodbye, Wolf, my N-word. May the dawn watch over you. Farewell, Wolf. Turns out the real massives were the N-words we greeted along the way. Goodbye, Wolf. <laughs> Thanks for all the tisms. Heart, kick J. Oh, yeah, we'll kick J, definitely. Uh, Wolf, you said you were on the sixth book of Wheel of Time, so I wanted to ask what you thought of the character work done with Nyanave in book five? Oh, uh, Nynaeve, I think. Oh, uh, Nyanub? Nyanub. <laughs> I'm on book seven now. I hate every female character in this series. Like, Nynaeve in particular is just despicable. Like, there's this point where, like, I'll try and 
say this in a way that I think won't be too spoilery and will make sense. So there's this dude she really wants to fuck hmm. who's paired with this other chick that he doesn't fuck, but he protects her. And then she dies and he's like alone and she's like, oh, she died. At least I get to fuck him now. And I would. Well, when I, I read mean, that, I was like, uh, this is your ultimate takeaway from this. Point out the lie. I guess. I mean, I guess it's a lie, but. Fuck that body. She's a horrible person. Wait, a dead if she a, a guy's body, he can't get erect after he's dead. He's not dead. The chick that he was protecting dies. So he's not bound to her anymore. But rather than mourning the loss of the person who died, she's like, well, at least she's dead now, so I can fuck him. Oh, I gotcha. I okay, I gotcha. She's a horrible, horrible character, but like all the female characters in this series are like varying degrees of just awful people. Well then, <laughs> that answers the question. Uh <laughs> I like it when you're wet. Okay. Moist, right? Moist. Moist. Uh, good luck on your journey, Wolf. All that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wander are lost. Don bless you, you bloody beautiful massive. Wolf, what would you consider to be the best Stephen King novel? Is The Stand a good one to start with? Oh, I, I would say... Yeah, I'd say The Stand is probably the best singular novel he's made. My favorite work from him is The Dark Tower, but that's a that's a series. But The Stand is really fucking good. Especially like the tension in the beginning. It it, you, it might lose you toward the middle because it it becomes less realistic, but if you stick through it, it's a it's a really good book. Uh, Wolf, I'm going to miss you. If anything, please keep writing. And can you be so kind as to explain to everyone why the map Sword Base from Halo Reach is fucking trash? Tried to play snipers on that map and it's insufferable. Um, Because Bungie got lazy and didn't feel like making dedicated maps for multiplayer and instead just copy-pasted a bunch of areas from the campaign that don't always work. And then people use the excuse of, oh, well, they meant it to be that way. And it was like, yeah, I know they meant it to be that really stupid, terrible idea. <laughs> that explains it. Um, which one's Sword Base? Have I played that? It's the one with, like, multiple it's levels. Sides. It's connected by three bridges in the middle. It has oh, that horrible yeah, I know what you're lift about. you should never, ever use. Yeah, yeah, I know one. I think my biggest issues with Halo, because I haven't actually played it in a couple weeks, but I think it's because I'm sick of DMRs. Every game, always, every mode. You see, it's, well, that's actually changed. It's like almost never DMRs now. The oh problem I have isn't the DMRs. It's the fact that um, the crossplay, uh, 343 bumped up the fucking aim assist on the controllers to such an insane degree that it's like almost a disadvantage not to use one. And I really want them to just put in uh, something that allows us to disable crossplay because I'm sick of people using controllers and winning just because the game is helping them win rather than them winning because they're actually good at the game. I um... it really sucks my enjoyment out of the experience. Yeah, I'll, I'll, probably keep playing it but i now that there's because i would be I, there would be like days would go by and i wouldn't get ar starts it, everything was dmrs and it's okay to have a dmr game every once in a while but it kind of invalidates like all of the weapon pickups except the power weapons um well you see i like dmr starts but that's because i'm more competitive um the issue i have is just the aim assist fucks it all up and then on top of that, um, the, the ranking system sucks. The map voting or 
lack of voting systems yeah sucks. i have no like, idea why they took out map voting well yeah. th- there's an explanation for it and it's really shit but people who defend 343 constantly have, i mean they have the mental capacity of a fucking toddler so they don't actually understand why this is a bad idea basically when mcc came out everyone the all the games there wasn't specific playlists for each game like there is now so whenever halo 3 popped up people would pretty much exclusively pick halo 3 maps because halo 3 is the best one and 343 took out map voting because of that because people kept voting for the same maps and it's like well that's kind of invalid now because you can choose which game you want and even then just give us different map rotations I remember the original Reach had a pretty good map rotation. Now it's playing the exact same fucking maps. I'm so sick of playing High Noon all the time. Hopefully, um, when they, as they release the games, maybe it'll get balanced out with patches and stuff? I don't know. Maybe they reinstate the map. Oh rotation. yeah, High Noon is shit. I fucking hate High Noon. 343 is like one of the most incompetent developers I've ever had the displeasure of playing the games of so i wouldn't hold my breath that they're actually going to make a good decision they can't do anything without fucking up a dozen other things i hate high noon it's shit it's a thing is like they remastered a bunch of maps from halo 1 and halo 2 for halo 1 anniversary which begs the question of why they put halo 2 maps in there but they didn't bother to see if maybe those maps don't work with reach's system almost none of those maps maps work because when it like when every game is DMRs, like that makes maps like High Noon just fucking awful. Well, High Noon's not good in Reach, period. Well, it wasn't really good in Halo One either. It's just not a very good map, and they were like, like, let's let's remaster one of the worst maps imaginable. That's not a terrible idea, I'm sure. I'll let them have their opinion. Well, their opinion is that they're like problem is that we did way better than they think that uh, way better than they actually are. Like three four three has the biggest ego, most overinflated ego I think I've ever seen from any developer. Like they genuinely believe they're great just because they're making Halo games, even though they're the ones that invented the series. And because critics keep giving them high ratings without actually like understanding what Halo is about, it feeds into their complex that it's just angry fans very well that that's probably quite the lengthy answer for the question of what's <laughs> I, wrong with that I, match. I, I made like multiple videos on 343 back in mm. my old channel days i really don't like them a lot of people don't yeah um, thanks for everything, Wolf. You helped improve my writing a lot, and it's sad to see you go. I hope you can come to love whoever you are or will be. Long life and happiness to you. Stay massive, my friend. Um, Wolf, I'm really gonna miss you. I always look up to you, and still do. And thank you for everything. Uh, love you, dude. And I'll pray for your happiness in future. You'll always be an awesome guy to me. Miss you, Wolf. Uh, may your life, may may you live your best life. May the dawn and Jeb bless you for the rest of your days. My good Wolf and Mauler, I wrote something for Wolf. I hope you all like, but it's too long for a super chat. Any ideas? Oh, and hi rags. Hello. Um, I figure the 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 cap on super chats makes it so that this can actually be feasible. Because if everyone was allowed to send as lengthy as things they wanted to, then um. I don't know how long this would actually take in terms of getting all the messages read. Uh, there are a couple Six of bigger years. ones toward the end, as far as I know, so... We're getting there, but, uh, yeah, um, alright. Uh, we'll miss you, Wolf. Uh, my last super chat to Wolf. Farewell, my N-word. Rhino milk won't taste the same without you. Oh. There's implications there. Uh, I guess rhino milk is derived from all of us. In some way, the host of EFAP. I don't know. I haven't read the law on that one. Yes. Oh, gee, thanks, thanks to Jay, we, we can have it so that milk is tempered by our taste. As people. Um, also to Wolf, I'm going to miss you, man. Thanks to all the laughs and fun tisms. Good luck in life. Goodbye, my N-word. Slice and dice, brother. This one's for Wolf. All the love in the world to you, my man. Go build something meaningful and find your own peace. Don't ever give up. 
Wolf, just wanted to thank you for making me love Lord of the Rings even more, introducing me to The Expanse and Ori. Have any of you guys seen The Venture Brothers? It's one of the best animated shows, and one of the characters is called Molotov Cork Tees. Molotov Cork Tees, yeah. Nice. I've seen some Venture Bros. It's been good. I have not. Molotov Cork Tees. Um. Never stop the stream so Wolf can never leave. JK, you'll be missed, good sir. The battle against Tism claiming isms will continue on. Tism oh, yes. claiming isms. Aha! Wolf, you absolute total Goliath tier massive. I'll miss you, but as long as you're happy, I'm happy. By the way, read One Piece, you N word. <laughs> Isn't that like a Herculean task at this point? Like, One Piece will take you like 10 years to get through? I don't know what One Piece is. It's like the world's longest anime. It's a bazillion things long, and people like are still very actively into it. It's like the soap opera of anime, I think. And by that I mean it just goes on forever. I, I, I'm not gonna speak to its quality. The last thing I need to do is piss off a bunch of One Piece fans. Like Rags. Rags, you're, you're big into One Piece, right? When I'm big into One Piece? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what? It's your favorite of <laughs> all of the pieces. Uh, hmm. As someone who Just also, yes. yeah, 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 easy answers. Yeah. As, as someone who also suffers from severe depression slash anxiety, Wolf's video was heartbreaking to watch. Hope you find happiness, buddy. Thank you. That is peace and love. Oh, I was expecting peace milk, but it's speculate yeah. on what peace milk would Let's be. Have peace milk together. Hey Wolf, wishing you the best. I feel you on the stuff you've been through, as I've been through similar stuff myself, minus the YouTube bit. Wishing you the best for the rest of your life, dude. Take care. Well, Wolf, we'll miss you, man. Seriously, been around since your dishonored days and been awaiting you these past dreams. Having Jay there instead made it worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, don't give up on finding the right meds eventually, trust me. Good luck to you, Wolf. You're a natural entertainer, and I would not be surprised to see you back at some time. By yeah, Wolf. I want you to know that you and Muller have inspired me greatly. I published my first book this year and plan on releasing another one next year. You truly helped me understand good writing. Alright. Sweet. Good stuff. Hello, Wolf. I made a Lord of the Rings tribute for you on Twitter. Five images. I don't know if you've seen it or not. I wish you well and hope you find your happiness. Um, I've been collecting a shit ton of, of memes, but I don't know about that one. That one doesn't trigger any memories, so... If it's yeah, fallen between remember. the cracks, I'm afraid I may have missed it. Um... Hey guys, Wolf. I finally finished watching Lord of the Rings just yesterday and I loved them. I really wish I'd gotten into them when they originally came out, but I was so obsessed with Star Wars at the time. Oh, uh, how times change. Yeah. Better late than never. Also, that means they were obsessed with the prequels at that point. The prequels took them away from Lord of the Rings. How does that make you feel, Wolf? <laughs> <laughs> the sound that's worth a thousand words. Bye-bye, uh, Wolf. We'll miss you. Slice and dice. You've got talent, Wolf. I hope you'll keep writing. I'll miss you, Wolf. Take care of yourself. Slavery is a solution for the Im immigration crisis in Europe. Thank you for Ori, Wolf. <laughs> um, <laughs> Look at well, it follows up with thank you for Ori. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. But since Wolf is leaving, and he asked personally, I'll say this. The Marley Corst was a lie. Emir did nothing wrong. Eldians rise up. Oh, from Ra. Hmm, probably. <laughs> Thank you for your time with us, Wolf. I'll miss you. First ever super chat, but I have to go. Wolf, take it from an old man. Go find the things that make you happy and fill your life with them. Everything else is static. Best wishes. I didn't, I didn't know we had old men. Yeah, I, I, of course. Me and Rags, we're very okay with any old men watching the show, right, Rags? You don't hate old people, right? Right. I love old people. You so love much. the old. I love old people of all shapes and sizes and ages. Just the older the better, I say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I if you're like ashes in a jar, then man, just fucking sign up. We got yeah. That's hot. Hop on in. Hot. 
First super chat, I'd like to say good luck to all my n-words, goodbye wolf, and don't forget to water your jabs. Also watch an analysis of the hidden misogyny and racism in Disney Star Wars by Darth. Hidden misogyny and racism? I'm gonna go in ahead Star and, Wars? and bet that one of the examples is the fact that Finn is like, goofy, and he's like the pr black protagonist. Hidden misogyny though, what would that be? The hidden misogyny? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of misogyny. Hmm. Uh, Apparently Darth has made a video on that if people want the answers. Is Darth like a goodman or a badman? I have no idea. Hidden misogyny. Then how did he find it? Yeah. But a, yeah. a magnifying glass. <laughs> Dear Wolf, I hope you find some semblance of peace and happiness soon. Dawn, but not forgotten. Also, I'm making a farewell video, but because of work and general incompetence, it'll take a while. We've got a couple of those in the uh, the meme backlog. I don't know if it'll be in there or not, but uh, there we are. Wolf, I hope you get better. You're not a nobody. What is uh, what is BAMF? B-A-M-F? Badass motherfucker? Oh. Either that or... Um... I don't know, uh, baby animals, mower, tur, fire. Motor fire. No, oh, I thought he like said mortar fire. Both of them could be a good battle bot's name, I think. Battle, um, avenue, what? um, Monday, frick. <laughs> Battle Avenue Monday Frick. <laughs> Thanks, you don't even try to. <laughs> Good luck, Wolf. You will be missed. Hi, Wolf. You were the first of this Tizmy group I found, and I've had lots of fun listening to you. Gonna miss you, but I'm glad you're doing what's best for you. Yes, will you continue with your writing? I will, because it's the only thing I even consider myself halfway good at. Or at least capable of doing. Guess I can't really say I'm good at it myself. Why? Because that would be considered vain? I mean, all of the Tizmy people we cover think they're good at video essays. I'm pretty sure you can take the uh, the W on that one. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be like them. <laughs> um, yeah, but it would be accurate with you. In fact, I'd be okay with it if they were accurate. Like, Patrick Williams being like, I'm good at this. I'd be like, oh, but... Oh. No. No. Sorry, Pat. You're just you're bad. And like Quinton yeah. would never claim he's good at it because he knows he's not. He like gave yeah. the fuck up. Um who else is there? Just right. He's he's got he's got good production values, you know. I'd 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 be okay with him saying that. It's alright. It's just the it writing good part. Once upon a time. His, once um, upon a time. His coverage of I can't remember if I told you this or not, but his coverage of Rise of Skywalker, he said that uh, he's upset that Rose Tico isn't in it more, because whenever he sees her, he jumps for joy. Didn't he imply <laughs> in that video that uh, the director just capitulated to racists? Yes. Racist a... <laughs> that was his conclusion, that JJ gave it up to the racists. <laughs> it's like, what? What a weird conclusion. And it would it would have to be specifically racists who hate Asian women rather than uh, black people or Hispanic people or women, right? It'd have to be that specific, I guess, just Asians. So, yeah, JJ, what the fuck? It's fucking so stupid. <laughs> yeah, we, we just really hate Asian women for some inexplicable reason. It couldn't be that it had anything to do with their character. That would be ridiculous. No. Just right knows what's up. I like how, um, wrong. didn't that happen on the Major Lee one, Rags, like, I think it was either you or Vito said something like, I hate her because I hate women, and Major Lee was like, is that, is that true, dude? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> no. Little did he know that Little it really was know. true. He's gonna listen to this someday, and he'll be like, oh my god, you would. Mauler, please give this to Wolf. Your humor and personality brought something special to those podcasts, Wolf, and that made you my favorite member of EFAP. We will miss you. Farewell. 
Uh, Wolf, your last vid was heartbreaking. I never felt so connected to a YouTuber. You'll always be the best YouTuber, and we'll all miss you massively. I hope you know you mean... Uh, I hope you know how much you mean to us. But the most important thing is that you're happy. Never forget how many fans who love you will never forget you. Um, Wolf, your content. Love your content. Hope you have a good future. Um, good. This one says, okay, girls, I have to leave. May the jab be with Wolf. And that just activated my phone. I didn't say, okay, Google. Oh, and it searched for, as I have to leave, mileage Abbey Wood. All right, what? phone. <laughs> Thanks for the help there. You really, you nailed it. That's going to turn up in some way to do with, like, targeted ads now. Oh, where we have Abbey, Abbey Wood. Wood. Would you like to visit Abbey Wood? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, would you like to visit Abbey Wood? The Abbey of the Wood. There is a fine picnic taking place near Abbey Wood. Good luck, Wolf. Your videos let me get some enjoyment out of The Last Jedi and introduce me to Mauler. And Rags. God, Hello. racists. Wolf, from one insignificant clump of star stuff to another, live your life well. Time to destroy the idea of themes once more, Wolf. I can't think of a better send-off than the OG EFAP crew battling this old enemy one final time. I think that's, I think they meant IMO, but it says IMU. What's, what's, what would IMU be, potentially? I am In ugly. my upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't even make sense. I am you. I am ugly. <laughs> Wolf, wish you the best and hope you get published someday. Yes, ma'am. Farewell, Wolf. I'd like to stick around for this classic-tism, but I'm gonna go write and listen later. Take care of yourself. Live well. We love you. Hey, Wolf. Just wanted to wish you the best, and thanks for everything. Love you, wild doggo. Speaking of... Speaking of... Hi, Rags. Man... Hello! And man of length. Hello. Man of length. Oh, man hello. of length. Um, oh, they said... Mam of length? Length? And then they sent another one to clarify, they meant man of length. Mam of length would be your mum, usually. All right. True, it's true. <laughs> uh, long days and pleasant nights to you, Wolf. May you find peace and happiness upon your IRL adventures. A quote from Balbo Buggins, the heteronormative subtext of subverting expectations through communist subjectivity. Is it Every time I hear Patreon. heteronormative from <laughs> someone unironically, I it's like, yeah, it's it's normal to be attracted to the opposite sex. It's lies. Racist. Um, you just sexisms everywhere. Being straight means you hate women. Yeah. I mean, would you guys disagree with that? I wouldn't. I, mean, <laughs> I wouldn't either. It just seems to follow. Wolf, thank you for getting me into The Witcher. Your passion for the series got me hooked on the games and to buy the books. To you, Rags and Mauler, thank you for all entertainment. Oh, you're welcome. No problemo. Yes, now don't watch the show because it's, it's fucking horrible. <laughs> Hi, Rags. Nothing. I'm sorry, what? Wow. Uh, I something to take in, I guess. Um, uh, if, wait, wait, I'm confused. There was, there was no, there was no high back. I don't know what to say. I can't oh, believe you let the audience that. down. Yeah. I thought I did. I did. I thought I did say hi though. No, there was Maybe nothing. Maybe I just like phased out of I don't know, existence. Just so oddly confused. It must if have been like a hello, faulty connection. Then just hello. Didn't make it through. Yeah, there you go. Nailed it. Yeah, it's right. very strange. I could. I don't know. Maybe I thought I was in a place that I was. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I struggle with similar emptiness in my day-to-day -day wolf, and it's sort of comforting to know that people I respect are in the same boat. I will watch Lord of the Rings with some pizza in your honor. Wolf milk. Yeah, I'm with the wolf milk. I got a couple of customers on that one, I guess. Um, off to work. Much love, wolf. Didn't catch your reason for leaving, but you will be missed. Hope you have a good time in that ranch upstate. Uh, hello, all my massive jebs. Just popping in here to say hi. Looking forward to watching this over the week. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hello, Longman. Hello. And goodbye to Wolf. Good luck and thanks for everything. I ain't gonna forget you. Cheers. 
Uh, what do you think of To the Moon? It has the best representations of Asperger's in fiction I've ever seen. Great story and soon-to-be animated film. I've never heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. Hmm. I'm sure I it can't be it. better than Predators. <gasps> no. <laughs> Asperger's representation. No. Uh, and this Super Chat's for Wolf. Thanks for the Ori recommendation and best of luck. As someone who is depressed and suicidal, I really understand how you're feeling, Wolf. Just know that you really brighten my day whenever you come on. You and the rest of EFAB really helps me out. Uh, Dishonored Writing of Raging Wolf, thanks for the thought-provoking vids and additional content. At your last appearance on the tube, what are your thoughts on AOT at this point in the story? Back on Titan, I guess? Yeah. Uh, I still... I, I'm sticking through till the end, because, I mean, it was the first manga and the first anime I've ever gotten into. But I, I've always felt like ever since they kind of did the whole Truman Show style thing where it's like, oh, no, the, the Titans are actually only relegated to this one tiny fucking island and the rest of the world's perfectly fine. It kind of took away the uh, the stakes. So I, I don't like oh, spoilers. Yeah. Wow. Gee, Truman Show. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't like the direction the the author took but you know I'll, I'll give him a chance to to make it good not that it's bad right now it's just i don't really is it ever worth giving people it. chances to fix stuff they damage these days i don't know man get more and <sighs> well, more cynical we, about we, that one well you know we we gave angel season five a chance and it was that was 2003 <laughs> things still... have moved on the world has changed the world is changing. It has, but still, War principle stands. Changes. Like you, you, you can, you can give him a chance, and it's not like Attack on Titan went to total shit. It's just I didn't really agree with the direction he took. All right. Get better, Wolf. I hope you find happiness. You will be missed, but not forgotten. Best wishes. Uh, reing Wolf, how you suffer. Get the extra tall roof, Ra. Fucking. How much taller can these roofs get? Also, I'm looking forward the to showing extra that. extra tall. There's, there's a comic that someone made recently with uh, me and Rags calling upon Ra. Uh, <laughs> it's, awesome. it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Farewell, Wolf. Go find happiness. You're a good man and deserve it. Never forget how much joy you've given others. I wish I could return the favor. Um... Seems like a lot of people are in on this one. Say goodbye all my N-words before you leave, Wallaf. Go find your happiness. God bless. Wallaf. Wallaf. <laughs> Wallaf. Um, thanks for the content, Wolf. I hope that things get better for you. I'm definitely interested in your new book. As are many. Just wanted to say I'm going to miss you, Wolf. You're a good guy, and I hope you find happiness in your life. Godspeed. Wolf, I'm very sad to see one of the YouTubers I can relate to and wish you the best of luck in whatever you do. Your videos brought me a lot of joy in these dark times of my life. Love you, Wolf Daddy. Hi, Rags. Hello. Uh, Wolf, did mention House of Leaves at some point? Did you like it? I'm in the middle of it, and I love it so far. No spoilers, please. House of Leaves. I think that's the game. Okay. I have if, if if that's House what you're talking game. about, the game, I I haven't actually played it yet. Well, Unless we're talking about something completely different, which I don't, I don't know. It is not triggering the memories. One of them, there, one of them, there, fakey houses. Mm hmm. House of leaves. <sighs> Maybe like a house of cards, but less reliable. When, all right, Google. Give me your tisms, please. Hmm. House. Of leaves. No. With a period in there. No, this is a book. I've never heard of this. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> Maybe you just uh, accidentally let, commented let upon see. someone making a house, house made of, of leaves. leaves. Game? I guess there isn't a house of leaves game. It just seems really weird to make a house out of leaves. What if you glued it all so that it's really more just glue than leaves at that point? He's more glue than leaves now. 
He's more glue than leaves now. What? How can you make the same joke? That's not fair. You He's more glue than leaves now. It's all the same joke. No, it isn't. No, you're just using a silly voice. I'm calling you out. That's it. I'm suing He's you. He's more leaves than glue now. Isn't that what Wolf said? He's more glue than leaves now at I this hate point. You. <laughs> Currently, <laughs> he exists in a strange sort of leaf purgatory. Why did we ever bring him on the show? I don't know. Some, <laughs> some sort of strange leaf eater now. He we could just be pretty confused at this point. Sandwiches. Deciding what you want from your life and taking the steps needed to change it is one of the strongest things you can do. You knew what you wanted slash needed and you acted. Good job, Wolf. I've been there. Stay strong, man. I need leaves. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't stay to watch, so just stopping by to say to Wolf, uh, say bye to Wolf. His content slash input on EFAP has brightened the day of many, myself included. Just wishing as well. Uh, so give the cutie this dono, ooh woo, miss you big boy. Oh, that's the nicest thing I've ever heard anyone say ever. Wolf, you're at least honest and somewhat likable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's, that's way better than not likable. You're at least honest and somewhat likable. <laughs> uh, hey, for okay. the internet, that's a pretty fucking like, big compliment. Not bad. Wolf, you're objectively wrong. You are great. Damn. Oh. Yeah, proved gonna your own science. To, gonna have to disagree on that. Wolf, shut the fuck up. You were never a terrible YouTuber and never will be. You were an inspiration to me and over 100,000 others. You were one of the few YouTubers who cared enough to fight the idiocy running rampant. I mean, that's true. You did kind of slap idiots a lot, so... You can't deny that one. Uh, still catching up on EFAPs, but glad I caught Wolf before he goes. Self-awareness can sometimes be a curse, but it's often underappreciated as a virtue nowadays. The Dom bless you and the rest of the brood. Ordered a pizza in your honor, Wolf. I wish you well, friend. Um, am I autistic for being annoyed by the wrong geography slash landscapes of some of the parts of Middle Earth in the Lord of the Rings movies? Oh no, it's uh, that that's probably the biggest flaw that Tolkien actually had is that if you look at the the Middle Earth map geographically, it doesn't make a fucking lick of sense. It's really badly designed i mean it's a it's an iconic map and i i really love it but like you have rivers that are running parallel with mountains you have mountains that form in weird shapes that that they don't do in real life i guess the uh the excuse is that uh the land was formed by magic so it's like okay it doesn't have to it doesn't have it to was abide by the book but... of destiny like, why does this but, look uh, so tizzy? Uh, magic? I don't know. The Force. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's uh, that's probably the one big flaw Tolkien had is he could do languages well. He had really good prose. He could tell a really good story, but he was not a cartographer at all. You're saying he should have hired a cartographer? Yes. Cartographer. <laughs> cartographer. So that sounds like a fucking machine. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just fucking shoved he the makes book into the machine. Um, and then it ends with high rags. Hello! Hello there, Mola. Hello. And take care, Wolf. Can't stay, right. but wants to make sure to wish the best of luck to Wolf. It ain't easy in life, so you do what you gotta do. Have a great life, man. Can't stay for stream, gonna watch on Mula. Thanks to the content, Longman. Hi, Wags, and good luck, Wolf. Thanks for all the laughs. Wow, there was a high wags as well, and there's no response. Hi, hi, no, hello. <laughs> He's like, starting to care less about you. I'm chat. sorry, chat. Yeah, like I say, it must no, be a really bad connection. This is weird. I just feel like I'm in a strange fever dream. Mm. This must be all the glue and the leaves. Uh, thanks Don't for liking puff glue. <laughs> Thanks for liking my Rhino Milk vid, Wolf. I made another vid recently called The Post-Birth Abortion That Is The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> oh my post goodness. Post-Birth yeah. Abortion. <laughs> I'd love you to so check it out killing. in your free time. It's my first big project. Bit of a long man, winky face. Um, did you actually name it that? Like, <laughs> fucking hell. Post-Birth Abortion. Demonetized. But yeah, I was going to say, that probably would be a demonetized straight up. Remember that list we read? Some totally weird shit it, gets demonetized in there. 
It is worthy, yeah. Am I correct in assuming that the knight, the dragon, and the king isn't happening anymore? Sorry if I got the title wrong. <laughs> well, pretty... at, at, least, at least he didn't come up with this weird conspiracy where that was what I named it a year ago. But it uh, was. No, it, it's still happening. I don't know when or if it'll be finished. I mean, I plan on finishing it. I've already put enough fucking time into it. Um, but I don't know when it'll be finished. I don't know. Oh, you fucking jackass Dark Souls boss from hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been playing Dark Souls. That's this a whole strange time. name. Yeah, no, they, they have some weird ones. <laughs> Very specific. It, was, it wasn't even a boss. It was one of those chunguses in Blight Town. <laughs> one of the chunguses. He, he hit those me off a bridge chunguses. and I died. And, uh. Yep, that'd be Dark Souls. Yeah. I'm sorry, what was the question again? Uh, about the book? How I many guess? chunguses have to bungus oh, the yeah, I don't. I don't know what the... I don't know when that'll be finished. I'm only like through two chapters of the second draft and then I'm sending it to people to tell me to... That it sucks, and then I make another draft after that, and then probably another draft after that, and probably another draft after that, and this is like a four hundred thousand word manuscript, so it's pretty fucking long. And I don't have a title. Probably not going to go under my name, so you're probably never going to know. So yeah. All right, but but the chungus is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was important. Wolf, I'm going to miss hearing your perspective on EFAP and your channel. The world's a better place with you in it. My life's certainly better for it, and I hope you're able to find some of the happiness you deserve. Uh, disappointing, as not getting to hear from you again is. Your mental health is much more important, and I wish you the best of luck. The best of luck! Love you, Wolf. You're always breathtaking. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! Um... Wolf, if you do something stupid, I'm uploading your videos, all three of them that I saved. Who's a good oh, boy, shit. Rags? I am. I am a good boy. That's me. I am. Well, um, can we get Hugh photos in the future via Mola? Hugh? Uh, Hugh Catman. Oh, I was, I was, yeah, I, I, it's like once you said it, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I just almost like always hear those together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like first name, last name. That's how you say it. That or Huey when he's being adorable. You could make like a Discord channel that you just only post those photos into or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> put them into the beam section. Uh, I, I don't know. That'd be a little strange. Mm -hmm. Completely up to you. Oh um, my god. Bone's about to die, so have a good stream. Godspeed, Wolf. Wolf isn't leaving, he's going on a quest to search for Jared. You've been an inspiration, dude, and the past few years were bearable because of you. I do not think you're going on a quest for Jared. That's yeah, gonna be nice, I actually. think the only one who should be going on a quest for Jared is Chris Hansen. And maybe he will. <laughs> who knows? Beware, men, there is a wolf among us. I get <gasps> it. Oh my god, it's Wolf? Uh, Merry Xmas, and best of luck to you, Wolf. Finally, what did you think of the first episode of The Mandalorian? I thought it was okay, but inconsistent. I didn't watch it, and from what I've been told, it goes bad very quickly, and so I'm glad I didn't watch it. Not yeah. very quickly. It takes, like, two episodes. <laughs> Elaborate on that. I will be back in one moment. No, I don't want to. I gotta save it. I, 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 I gotta save it. I gotta make a big video. It's gonna be a big old thing. I'm gonna explain to everybody that this is not a good show. It's got terrible writing, extremely inconsistent characters. It's Disney Star Wars schlock crap. But it's not malicious, you know? Like, it's more incompetent than... Like, you could make the argument that Disney, like, hates Star Wars. But this doesn't seem like it hates Star Wars, just that someone tried to make a Star Wars show and it's terrible. Oh, uh, so it's still Disney's Star Wars. I mean... Just without in, the malice. In this, yeah, kind of, yeah. Which means I'm more akin to liking Mandalorian because... I mean, I it's not good, but it's not, like, harmful to the Star Wars, like, franchise or the lore or the universe or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I, I figured it wasn't going to be good, and I glad that i didn't waste my time watching it 
So then I could waste my time watching The Witcher, which was horrible. Really? It was horrible? Because I've heard mixed yeah. things, so I could definitely believe it. Well, from an adaptation standpoint, it's utterly atrocious. It really fucks up a lot. Uh, Henry Cavill, decent as Geralt. I still don't yeah, think... he looks he, decent. He, he looks... Uh, he doesn't quite look the part, but he, I got the impression he actually cared about the character. Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest issue with him was that he, he was clearly trying to do the voice from the game, but his accent flips from American to British in like every other scene, and it's really distracting. Um, and the, the, the story's just fucked. The timeline doesn't make sense. The race swapping is horrendous. Really and, strange. And it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a really bad show. There's like a couple moments of enjoyment. Like in episode one, there's this fight scene. It's not really a good fight scene. Shad broke mm -hmm. it down. But there's like this one kill at the very beginning where he like stabs a dude in the mouth and like opens his skull like a fucking okay. can opener. Damn. Okay. That, that, that was a pretty cool kill, but the rest yeah. of the fight scene not. Yeah. Good. Is, is that I'm on our watch list, Rags? Is it or is it not? Um, It's kind of. I mean, I wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Like I like has the, like uh, the, the worst note. color grading I think I've ever seen. It's, it's like worse than solo. <laughs> it, it's like grayscale, but for some reason blues are extremely oversaturated. Then it again, guess... it, it's bad. You, you can actually see like some of the colored contact lenses on the characters or actors rather, like moving off their eyes <laughs> in some scenes. It's it's really it, it's a terrible show. Don't watch it. I was actually going to say, color grading is probably not the problem with Solo, it's just the fucking brightness. I, I got, I re-noticed that when I was editing my Rise of Skywalker video, how dark all the Solo clips are compared to everything else. Really weird. I don't remember, but then again, I... Nobody remembers Solo. Remember the movie. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, Maybe uh, that's why they made terrible. it dark, to help you forget. It was all blurry and, you know. Oh well. And Solo's not that much of a popular character, so who would really care, let's be honest. You, you can't hate it if you can't see it. Hmm? That thinking meme. Mm. Um, thanks for getting me back into Breaking Benjamin, Wolf. I saw them live on the same day as EFAP 50. It was the best day I had all year. Rock on. Woohoo. So, uh, there's some kind of gay band, is it? Or... Uh, it's one of the bands that Benjamin. people... Also... It'll be one of those bands that people will be like, "Ugh, Wolf's taste in music sucks. He, he has an objectively bad taste in music because he likes this one band and the other 400 bands he likes don't don't matter. Damn. I Annihilated. remember there was a, there was a point, I, I think it was, uh, fuck, I don't remember what stream it was. One of the times I came on high <laughs> and I, I mentioned that a new Korn song came out and that I liked it. Didn't make any objective statements about it or anything. And I was just like, I liked it that people were like, you have such a shit taste in music. And I was like, it's one band out of hundreds and only one genre. Okay. Music discussion on YouTube is like the most autistic shit in the world. Well, lucky we stick to movies in which there are, yeah. is no musical soundtracks. Just straight dialogue and that's it. Yeah, because it's all been copyright claimed, so mm -hmm. you can't have it. <laughs> But Wolf, thanks for helping me through the hard times, even if there will never be an EFAP where Batman eats toothpaste. We already killed Batman on EFAP. Wait, so what? Hold I'm on. I'm surprised Batman Rags didn't want to toothpaste? question that. <laughs> like, Batman eats What's toothpaste. What's question? What is, what is that referencing? Batman's tooth care? I don't remember that being a thing, Batman's but alright. Batman's tooth care? Batman's tooth care. Um, I, I like that might be some kind of ancient meme. Does he have like bat toothpaste or something? I would hope so. The bat paste. <laughs> he gets his bat breath brush every morning. Um, so glad I made it in time. I'm not good with goodbyes. Wolf, live well, keep writing, and thank you for everything. Don't feel obliged to come back. Just good luck with everything you're looking for. Hello, all my N words and Wolf. Make sure you get Wolf's take on Witcher. I would like to know his take on the Netflix series. Well. <laughs> Horrible. How convenient. Awful. Don't watch it. <laughs> See, I think people are going to assume the writing in EFAP is poor because you answered that question just as it was turning up. That's 
contrived as fuck. Like, I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Like, if you're gonna write stakes and setups and payoffs, you have the question first, and then you have the answer. You just don't have it turn up right before. That's dumb. I'm like the HBO Jeopardy. Watchmen version of Dr. Manhattan, where he's, like, mentally retarded, and he's like, I'm going to die, so I can't change it. Damn. What an awful, awful, awful show. <laughs> I don't like, hear I, many good things. It's well, the only people who say good things about it are like extremely far left crazy SJWs. And it's like, okay, so good. Their opinions on this matter don't matter. I guess they do matter in that they, they're a warning sign. It's like, oh, they like it. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, same thing with 1917, which, by the way, fucking amazing movie. I hear Loved nothing it. but good things about it. There's not enough women in it, so, well, I, know, I enjoy a misogynist I movie, I guess. Such a good film. Me, me, me. Good film. Because there's guys in it. It's okay. good oh, because I, I, yes, of all Have you even seen with Little Women? Have you watched Little yeah. Women? Yeah. No, but I watched Weathering with you last night, which is better, probably. Weathering? What? That was, a, that was an Animu movie. You didn't fucking watch that with me. What are you talking about? I didn't say I watched it with you. I said, said I watched it last night. You said I watched Weathering with you last night. No, well, th that's because the movie's called Weathering With You. That's, that's the title. Th you could have made that clear. Oh, I thought How the fuck was I supposed to grasp with, that? Oh, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you didn't even expect us to take it, it that way. Alone. You were well, just like, I, of I, course I, that's the title. How do you not know that? Well, <laughs> I, I, I would think the, oh the fact God. that we didn't watch anything together last night would be a clear indication. Hence that my like, response. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think you would take it that way when we didn't even talk yesterday. Wait, yeah, we did. We did that. We did do the other thing. What did we do yet? Oh, I sorry. Was I was yesterday. trying to make a joke. I thought you said doc, not talk. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, this this all it seems to be miscommunication on your part. Um, I'm blaming you, Rags. Who who do you think was more to blame? Ah, uh, Wolf. There you go. Rags, why would you betray me like that? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to you don't I, this if this is the, if you're disappearing into the ether then I could say whatever I want, right? <laughs> I got to deal with Mauler's ass every day now. But I will Well, you know the the DMs are always open. Dun dun. My dun. DMs are always open. The docking? For docking? No, 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 I don't think, do you know what that is? Yes. Oh my god, why would you even say Wolf, it? Wolf, do you know what docking is? <laughs> Wolf, do you know what docking is? That's, that's why when he said, uh, we did not dock yesterday, that's what I thought he said, I was like, yes we did. Oh, <laughs> uh, like, yeah, we totally did, what are you talking I, about? I guess I probably don't know then. We were up to some hard docking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy. Yeah, obviously we were referring well, you know to like sci-fi, you know, like docking your ship, like a spaceship, or or you could do it with a regular ship, I guess. In the dock, you can dock it. That's what we were referring to. Ah, <sighs> wholesome Christian uh, stream. Also, thank you for your contributions. You will be missed. Uh, thanks for all the great times, Wolf. You got me into the expanse. I really love it. Goodbye, Wolf. I love you all. I am drunk. Bye, Wolf. Good night. <laughs> I love there you, you all. I'm drunk. There um, you go, everybody. Wolf, I need to know. Did being bald boost your beard growing ability? Or were you always looking like a Norse god? You could act Kratos if you dyed it. <laughs> yeah, Wolf. Uh, hmm. No, just when I, I went bald, I stopped uh, trimming my beard. Because um, I used to keep um... it at like around an inch, but then I was like, well, if I can't have hair, at least I can have a beard. So I just kept growing it out. And is it down to By your toes way, now? It will look better if you no, go what? bald instead of just hanging on to what little stuff you got left. That's the thing. Like, I see so many people that, like, try to cover it up or hide it. I remember uh, when I started thinning, I, like, tried to put all these fucking expensive-ass hair products in my head to try and make it look thicker. But I had blonde hair, so it was not really doing much. So I was like, fuck it, I'm not going to be like one of these guys who has like this giant bald spot or uh, the big U, you know? Yeah, not the comb <laughs> over, like, you know, 
when they only have hair on the sides of their head but not on the top like mr burns <laughs> yeah i i uh, went to walmart one time and there was this dude who had like shoulder length hair but it didn't grow on the top at all and he didn't even have a comb over it was just bald up there and i was like oh why would you <laughs> Why would you think that's a good look? And he was like walking around like he was top shit. And I like, was like, he knew that. No, I, yeah. Like I, like I am shit. not <laughs> ever gonna be like that. So yeah, I, I decided to just shave it off, and I can grow a good beard. So that's a mm. that's a thing. Uh, this says, "What's your favorite books and any recommendations?" We are still saving that for the end. Yes. Well, I actually got the list, so I can. All right, do that let's now. do it. Okay. All right, so I separated them into genres for convenience. Who's, who's John? Shit. Genre. John Ra. Yeah. I, oh shit! I doxed Ra. Fuck. Oh my god. Uh, so for sci-fi, I got Dune, the first one. You, you can not read the others. I mean, you can if you want, but they're not as good as the first one. Definitely don't read anything by Brian Herbert. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Uh, the Expanse books, probably my favorite book series at this point. Uh, the Metro books and uh, Future by Dmitry Lukovsky. Uh, Metro 2034 is probably the weakest. Well, definitely the weakest. But uh, those are all very good books still. Uh, the first Red Rising, I haven't read the others yet. Plan to this year, but I like the first book quite a lot. Uh, Roadside Picnic in the Doomed, si uh, the Doomed City by... Boris and Arkady Strugatsky. Very, very good kind of post-apocalyptic dystopian sci-fi books. Very good. The Road, uh, The Martian by Andy Weir, and The Dark Tower books by Stephen King. For fantasy, I got the first Law Trilogy and uh, Best Served Cold by Joe Abercrombie. They are very, very good books. Best Served Cold, I think, is my favorite. The Wheel of Time, I'm not finished with it yet. I'm like halfway through the series, but I'm really liking it. The Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. A very, very good uh, Russian fantasy. The Lycanius Trilogy by uh, James Islington. Uh, I finished the third book just before Christmas. It's one of the best fantasy books I've read in quite a while. And probably the best time travel story I've ever read. It's really surprisingly airtight. And the, the ending, the third book, really makes up for the shortcomings of the second. It's very, very good. Uh, it's not really a fantasy story itself, but The Revenant. It's uh, the book that's based on the guy that the movie is inspired by. Very good. Uh, Chaos Queen Quintet. I'm three books in. Quite like that one. Uh, anything that's not specific to genre... Uh, the Stand, It, The Shining, and Doctor Sleep by Stephen King. Norse Mythology by uh, Neil Gaiman. The Sagas of Icelanders. It's not actually like a specific author. It's just like a bunch of uh, Viking uh, stories from Iceland. It's pretty interesting. The Disaster Artist. It's the funniest book I've ever read. Anything by H.P. Lovecraft and Voices from Chernobyl. And then with comics and manga, I got Watchmen. Uh, I read V for Vendetta. I fucking loved it. I didn't like the movie at all. The Killing Joke. Uh, I just got into Hellboy recently. That's very good. I really like Preacher. Monstrous is really good. Battle Angel Alita is really good. The movie isn't. Shut up. <laughs> Persephone is really good. Uh, you can actually read that on uh, online. It's C A R C I P H O N A. Very very good web manga. Uh, All you need is kill the manga. That I haven't read the the book, but the manga is really good. And Berserk. There we go. Those, those are the recommendations. Excellent. That's a pretty chunky answer. Um... I, I, I think there's only a few books left in the universe, but you covered most, so nice. Plenty of recommendations to work with there, folks. Uh, Saw Wolf's goodbye vid, and I can identify with many of his feelings and struggles as a 26-year-old combat vet. I hate being around people and have no friends outside the internet. Just know you're not alone, Wolf. 
Uh, stopping by to say farewell to Wolf. The countless hours of thoughtful entertainment you've given us will never be forgotten. Never stop writing, even if it's just for yourself. And hello, Muller and Raj. <laughs> Raj. <laughs> hello. Raj, you gonna say hi or what? Raj? No, that's my Indian brother, Raj. Well, can you say hi on behalf of Raj? On behalf of Raj, hello. Wolf enjoying a tonal video is the best finale. True. Wolf can retire. I was so surprised by that. Yeah, we all were. <laughs> Wolf can retire happily, knowing the next generation of tonal is in good hands. You can rest now, bud. Your efforts had not gone to waste. <laughs> We, uh, yeah, I'm imagining we're... me as Tony Stark in Endgame dying. Like, you can rest now and it's Tonal telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> I will review uh, things properly now. <laughs> Wolf, you're a massive legend. Cheers to you, N-Word. My, my next pizza is in honor of you. A lot of honor pizzas happening. I like it. Honor pizzas. <laughs> Thanks for the time, like Wolf. Honor killings, but with more pepperoni. Yes, and cheese. No pineapple. No pineapple. Have a good life. Fond farewell, Wolf. We drink to your health, your house, and your happiness. The uh, two beers clanking. Nice. Lick Bye, on. Wolf. We'll love and miss you. Sorry I told you to shut the fuck up earlier. I just want you to be nice to yourself because you're an amazing pupper. Oh, I thought that was you telling me to shut the fuck up. No, that's, that's part of the Super Chats. I, I'm merely a puppet to the Super Chats. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> it's like, oh, she's a... I know, it's harsh. Baller. What can I say? Uh, Wolf, did you finish Wheel of Time? The last book of that series is so good. Please read through it, and uh, I hope you find peace with yourself. Merry Christmas. I'm on book seven. I'm told by absolutely everyone that books seven through ten are like the worst in the series and are like horrible. So I'm on the bad ones, I guess. Uh, but I, I liked everything that came before, even though the female characters are horrible people and I don't like any of them. Male characters are really good, though. Very, very good. It's just that Robert Jordan writes every female character to be a horrible cunt. And yeah. Damn. Uh, did Wolf ever get his picture of Quinton awkwardly comforting a crying Patricia or Eric Taxon? Oh, God. I don't think don't, so. I, I don't think so, but I, I also remember saying uh, to you privately after the show, like, I, I wish I didn't say that. I, I don't want to stir up the pot so don't don't do it yeah yeah it's uh, the, 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 the who knows what kind of conflicts could arise from such a amusing slash hateful drawing yeah. so uh as, as funny as it might be just just uh leave just leave them alone it's uh best not to stir up more shit with them uh, who would win in a fight, the Silver Surfer or Tom Bombadil from the Lord of the Rings books? Uh, I would assume Tom Bombadil would just not give a fuck. What are what are his abilities? Not giving a fuck. <laughs> I mean, Silver Surfer is pretty I, powerful. You 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 laugh, but I mean, like he's. The excuse for why the ring has, like, no effect on him whatsoever is, like, he just doesn't give much of a shit about anything, which I I don't, I don't like Tom Bombadil. I, Can he be killed by a sword? I assume so. He just kind of walks around with his elf girlfriend in this, like, forest, and yeah, he's, he's a weird character. I, I think he... It's kind of pointless, especially since he like comes out of nowhere, doesn't offer anything of value. Yeah, I I'm not a Bombadil fan, but I would assume that he would probably just not give enough of a shit about the Silver Surfer. He'd he'd be like that uh the Honey Badger video. Tom Bombadil, he just doesn't give a shit. The Bombadil is dead. Like he'd end up be dead. That he would end up dead then. I mean, yeah. It's Sorry, but it pass on? he wouldn't give a just... shit about dying, so he just wouldn't die. I don't know that that's how that works. Yeah, is that how that I'll works? have to check with science on it, but I almost feel like it's the almost like the opposite's true. Yeah. Well, 
guess we'll find out someday when those those fictions become reality. Uh, Wolf, it's sad to see you go, but do what you need to for your health. I thoroughly enjoyed the knight, the dragon, the king, so hope to see more of your writing someday. Good luck in all you do. Good night, everyone. Farewell, Wolf. I will miss you. Also, hi, Raga. Hi, Raga. Uh, Wolf, with all the promos that have come out, what are your current thoughts on Netflix The Witcher series? I enjoy you... <laughs> You content, to wish you the best, have a Merry Christmas, Godspeed. Refer to what I said above. <laughs> I like how you answered it before two of them came in. You'd think that would have been one of the, like, commonly asked questions, wouldn't you? But hey, this is how it worked out. Um, so this one's like a collection of about six. It was like one big uh, <gasps> sort of message that I've just put together. Um... Wolf and crew. First, I apologize for not being able to send super chats. The country I'm in won't allow it, but considering today is Wolf's really? last day, it was worth purchasing a VPN subscription. I, I, I guess. Wow. Oh, so this is how he sent in super chats? He got a VPN? Apparently, yeah. Apparently that's, that's what he had to do. Wow. Um, I had no idea that was a thing. I didn't either. Wolf, your content has brought me a lot of laughs, entertainment, and knowledge about how to look at art critically and objectively, but your video on depression helped me the most by helping me understand myself. Uh, we will be here for you when you need us, man. Just please allow us to by leaving some sort of point of contact with Muller and Rags so that they can accept any offers and pass them on to you when you're ready. Um, out of respect, I will no longer be viewing re-uploads of your past content, though I have saved your depression and goodbye videos onto my computer for when I need help getting through a rough day. Sometimes family members will never understand or want to. When my mum overheard me say that I might have PTSD from being kidnapped and living through two government-sanctioned massacres, she called me a synonym for a cat and a liar who was trying to make myself look tougher than I really am. Um... Yeah, I think if you live through that, you kind of get an excuse. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? What's a synonym for a cat? A bitch, Pussy. maybe. <laughs> a bitch is a, a female. A bitch dog. is a female dog. True, true. I, like, my I think it's brain crossed just... wires there. What's wrong with you? Everything's wrong with me. Have you seen me? I have to wear a respirator. Yeah, no sympathy there. See silence. Not silence. at all. Respirators. Those those red eyes I've got, you'd think, oh, are they just the cool factor? No, it's because I'm blind. They help me, like, see. It's terrible. Uh, I thought it was because you're some albino freak. I thought it was because you're evil. Both of those and the third thing. Uh, does Tonal not realize his carrot rant is nothing but an innuendo buffet? <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> it's like, all right, then. Yeah. You can make a bunch of innuendos about the carrots, I guess. I suppose, but he hates them, so you, you know, yeah, you can't really seem, work with it. Just, it does seem a little unusual, I guess. Um, thank you, Wolf, for inspiring me. Good luck, man. Wolf, your humor got me through some tough stuff. Love you. Hi, Rags. Hey. Hi, Mola. Hello. Hi, Wolf. Hi. Gonna miss you, Wolf. Last year of EFAB was great with you in it. Take care of that brain, though. I pray you find what you need, fair winds, and following seas. Do Wolf, you're one of my favorite content creators and will never be forgotten. Best of luck, brother. Uh, let Wolf know that he inspired me to read the, the Expanse, and the three of you have inspired me to start my own critique channel, The Media Detective. Good stuff. Uh, the media have fun. I will warn you that that is dangerously close to the pop culture detective, which is Jonathan McIntosh's channel. <laughs> so, yeah. The association. The dreaded associate. Now you'll be fine. Um, Muller and Rags sing Stand By Me by Ben E. King to Wolf, but replace Darling with Wolfie or some other equivalent. Sing it like you're saying goodbye to a precious long-term lover. Do it for all of us. Oh yeah, but God, we're not don't... saying goodbye. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, no, I don't want you two to do that. I would pay you not to do that. Sweet, Rags, we can make money off this by not singing yeah. songs. <laughs> oh, how come someone else hasn't thought of this? <laughs> Just knock on doors and offer, like, I will not sing Let's to you if you singing. pay me. <laughs> like, I'll stop if you pay me. 
Wolf, EFAB won't be the same without you. You will be missed. Good luck in life, and I'll be on the lookout for your new book. Uh, must sleep for work, sadly. Farewell, Wolf. This one says farewell as well. People like saying farewell. Uh, enjoyed your POV and humor over the years. Best of luck in your endeavors. I'll keep an eye out for the book. Godspeed, Wolf. Your content gave me joy during some tough times. Thank you. Uh, for Wolf, so long, and thanks for all the memes and the videos and the streams. A question, if I may. Any plans to restock your book or do digital versions? No. That's uh, iridescent, right? Yeah. Have you got a copy of it, at least? No. Oh. You have a, a weird document? <laughs> like, something? I don't know. No. Uh, Wolf, how was Tool? Are the bands you want to see? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I went to go see them in November. It was the best concert I've ever been to. Really, really, really good. They sounded, like, almost good enough to... that it it's not as enjoyable listening to their recordings as it was being there. Especially since there was, like, a moment halfway through Schism where... Uh, Justin and Adam had like a bit of a guitar battle. Maynard sounded fucking great. Danny was awesome. He had a big drum segment toward the end. I got to hear all the songs that uh, got me into the band. They, they were just fucking great. And the light show was unbelievable. Like you have got to see Tool at least once in your life. Well then. And uh, are there any other bands you want to see? Oh my goodness. Uh, a lot of most of the bands that I listen to, I haven't, uh, I don't usually have the time or money for that matter to go to concerts. So unfortunately, I, I've only gone to like four or five of the bands that I really like. So yeah, there, there's quite a lot, the vast majority of bands I listen to. That makes a lot of sense. Um, Gonna miss you, Wolf. It was one hell of a ride. Wolf, I wish you luck on the next adventure through life and hope that I will be able to listen to or read your book someday. Despite making up 13% of EFAP memes, high rags. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wolf, I found your channel through your uh, Mass Effect Andromeda video, which led to your TLJ video, which led to Mauler's critique and EFAP. Can't thank you enough. That was the first video, the Mass Effect Andromeda video was the first one I made that got really big. Fucking hated that game. I've not heard a single good thing about that game. I've heard many, many, many bad things about that video game. Uh, we'll miss you, Wolf. Also, hello, Wags. Hello. So with Wolf leaving, does that make this the Season 5 finale? Season 6 kicks off with EFAP 66, starting the Rise of Skywalker arc. Perfect time to do it, to be honest. I think that is the, uh, according to EFAP.me, that, that is the projected... Area, and it makes sense there'd be a Rise of Skywalker arc because we've had like a, bil a billion episodes on it already. Um, It'll be like Buffy season six, only Buffy doesn't come back. Don't say things, otherwise things will be known. I'll be doing that. Poor people, I'm still not convinced everyone to watch it under the watch duress. it, watch it, watch <laughs> it, watch it, watch it. Season one sucks. Season two sucks for like the first half, but then gets good. Season three is great. Season four is eh. Season five is great. Season six is amazing. Season seven isn't very good, but it well from the plot perspective, but the characters are really great. Oh my God. Se season one of Angel is really good. Season two is really good. Season three is really good. Season four is the worst thing ever made in the history of cinema season five is one of the best <laughs> things ever made in the history of cinema watch it it's there really go. good i wouldn't have given it a chance if mauler didn't make me watch it with him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i'm so glad i did it's fucking great better than it has any right to be the name buffy the vampire slayer is just like the most atrocious title <laughs> for anything ever so it's like I've, yeah I, I don't fault anyone for not wanting to watch something with a title like that but Man, I'm so glad I watched it. Oh, that wasn't there wasn't even a Buffy question. There you go. Uh, need to inject Wolf with Rhino Milk to reboot him. All right, I'll miss you, Wolf, around here. Uh, you've been great. Good night, everyone. I would love to stay till the end, but I work at five a.m. Goodbye, Wolf. It won't be the same without you. Second super chat ever. Just wanted to say thank you for everything, Wolf. Take care of yourself, mate. You deserve to be happy. Also, hi, Rags and Mola. Hello. Hello. 
Uh, good luck, Wolf. I've appreciated everything you've done, from your candid media takes to your honesty about mental illness. I'm gonna miss you. On a personal note, would you be okay with future appearances in Goliath Saga? I have respectful send-off planned down the line. All the best, man, and good luck with everything going forward. I think he means memes. Oh, yeah. Like I said, if you're already working on memes, then I, I, obviously I don't want to, like, fuck that up. So if I'm already in a meme that you're working on, go ahead. Uh, but yeah, I think it would be for the best if I was just phased out over time. Um, Wolf, I'm asking for a friend. What's a Y-Wing? <laughs> <laughs> what wing? It's a very effective ship that might have made The Last Jedi... <sighs> Why would they need Y-Wings when they have the bombers? Slightly less retarded. Bombers are way better. They can, like... They can self-destruct at will and take out their friends' ships, too. Y-Wings are really? shit compared. They can self-destruct at will? Probably. <laughs> All they need is someone inside it to just fucking knock it around. Fucking self-destruct buttons are always, like, the dumbest thing I've ever seen in fantasy. Or fantasy sci-fi. I don't know, there's probably scenarios where that could help. Like, if you... Just in case I you know. need to blow up my entire base. Yeah. I got a button for it. What know? if... A bunch of bad guys were raiding the place, gonna collect all the info, and you were the last dude there. You're like, nah, self-destruct, you can't even read all of our documents, our highly... Well, then you can just purge the systems, not destroy the whole fucking ship. What about all your hard evidence? Like, things written on paper, like, plan, go here. Well, why would you have paper in the future? I don't know, maybe it's not the future, it's just fantasy. Hard copies are probably well, you wouldn't have a self-destruct button. You have enough technology to have a self-destruct button, but not enough technology to have phased out paper entirely. I don't think paper will ever be phased out entirely. That's, that's your racist opinion. Uh, yeah, I disagree. I, I think as the as things get more uh, lean more toward like technology, like on computers or reading books on Kindle or whatever, it, it's it's already happening. It's more efficient. I don't like it, but... It, no, I, I think know. there's always going to be a need for having hard copies of things that don't require power or maintenance or anything of that nature. I think their role or certain, will certainly be reduced as time goes on, but I doubt that... What there if power becomes, like, super ubiquitous? We, like, Well, there is, like, having things like card deeds and documents in physical format that can't be stolen except through... Like the old school means, I think those. Oh, well, this is assuming useful. that technology doesn't like really get much further than we're at now. I don't know. I I still think that there are, there are certain aspects of a physical medium that digital things can't provide, like the sure. smell, especially of when your it comes ID. to having like an original, like a the like the concept of an original copy is something that doesn't even exist with certain kinds of media in a sense. Sure. I mean, I, I don't like reading anything off of, uh, like a computer or Kindle. I want all my books to be physical. I want my music to be physical. I want my movies to be physical. I, I don't really care much for games being physical anymore just because like, there's not as much of a incentive for it, but I don't know. I feel like eventually it's going to be phased out to the point of non-existence or complete non-existence. I think non when existence. you talk about stuff like birth certificates, deeds and titles to property, uh, there will always be a need to have... So It might not be paper specifically, but some kind of a physical... Um, a, 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 a prime physical token, essentially that either designates ownership or property or something along that nature um, that can be stored away in some kind of safekeeping in a way that digital stuff can't be. Guess we'll see. I suppose, but I think we'll be dead before paper gets phased out, if it gets phased out. But uh... Oh yeah, it, it'll be way beyond us. But like, you know, trees, man. Useful. Useful to say. I actually watched a video on how paper is made. Have you guys seen that shit? Um, I haven't seen that one, but I do peruse the how it's made on YouTube every once like, in a while. Trees get like shredded into mush, and then the mush mm -hmm. is like 
fucking pressed into sheets. It's the most bizarre thing ever. I was just like, I don't fucking know this is how it worked. Then again, I don't know how I thought it worked. <laughs> I just assumed that you, like, cut really thin on a tree and you got paper. <laughs> <laughs> If it makes you feel any better, I, I think I thought pretty much the same way. It, I, I think that's a point when you're young, when people are like, paper is, comes from trees, and you're like, what? How? What? <laughs> like, no, it makes sense, shut up. Uh, I don't stay for the entire stream, so I'm just gonna say my farewells to the wolf man. Goodbye, you beautiful bastard. I'm gonna miss you. Usually don't catch these lives, but I have to say goodbye to wolf. I genuinely hope you find happiness. Thanks for the years of content. Take care. Um, thanks for the laughs, and thanks for the inspiration. Keep well, and take time to enjoy life. Godspeed. About to pass out. Good night, massive N-word tisms. Happy trails, Wolf. I wish you the best, and I hope I'll see you again. I always thought you were a pretty good YouTuber, and I wish I could have read your books. Hello, I mean, bye, wags. Um, hello. And good job, Muller, I mean, on goodbye. kicking Jay. Oh, yeah. Kicking Jay is something I've become pretty good at, actually. Uh, Wolf, I played Halo Reach, and even though I'm unaware of the Halo lore, I can still see that Reach is chock full of storytism, even ignoring the lore. How could anyone defend such blatant mediocrity? Uh, because most of the Halo fan base left with Reach and 4, and all that's left are the people that, like, defend it to an extreme that it shouldn't be defended. So, uh, most of the people you'll find who really love Reach, it was one of, if not their first Halo games. And if it wasn't, then they make pretty bad excuses for a lot of the issues with the story. Like, Actman, I, I love his channel. His Reach video is the only one I watched that I genuinely didn't like. Like, I remember his excuse for why Noble Team are good characters is like, you gotta respect what they're fighting for. It's like, well, that doesn't, it doesn't excuse the fact that they're one-dimensional cardboard cutouts with, like, no personality. And then there's just, like, all the contradictions to the previously established canon that's just a bullshit. And, uh, yeah, I really don't like that game. I mean, th there's parts of it that I like, but I, I think it, a lot of the criticism that Reach used to get has died down because most of the Halo fan base left quite a long time ago. Mm. And not for bad uh, bad reasons, because Halo hasn't been good for quite a while now. Wolf, have you started to read book three of Lycanius? Yeah, finished. Uh, mentioned it earlier. I, I finished it uh, just last December. It was fucking amazing. Um, this one's for you, Wolf. Hope you find something that works for you. Farewell, my N-word. You'll be missed. So happy you like my videos. EFAP is the best. Hugs to Muller and Rags, and a super big hug to Wolf. You were the spark of inspiration for those videos. Sad you're leaving, but understand. Please take care and water your Jebs. Keep them Jebs moist. <laughs> Goodbye, Wolf. I hope the future is happier for you. Wolf, you will be missed. I wish you luck in your future endeavors. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Thank Wolf for his service. Thank you for everything, Wolf. Uh, people thank with a... Service. Yes, thank you for your service, sir. Um, people with <laughs> a sense... You, know, you like a Boy Scout? There was this uh, weird... I don't know where this came from, either. There was this weird idea that some people had that I am a military vet. I don't know where on earth they got that idea. But then again, there, there's a lot of things that like people say that it's like, what what are you talking about? No need, be, no need to be so humble just because you killed Bin Laden. Mm -hmm. Nice job, by the way. Yeah, good shot. Uh, people with a sense of smell go around sniffing each other's like dogs? What the fuck, Wolf? What? I mean... I just, I just read the messages, okay? Like, I cannot be held responsible for what they say. I just, I see them. I don't know what this means. Maybe it's a reference. Maybe someone said something at some point. I don't know what it means. People with a sense of smell go around sniffing, sniffing each other's like dogs. I, 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 I don't know what he's referencing. All right, then. 
Also trying to get my sister into Ori. It's a great game. Thanks for getting me into it. Any other games or movies I should play before I die? Oh, God. The list for that would be astronomical. Yeah, like movies to see or games to play or music to listen to and then books to read too. It's uh, That's a tough one. Before you die, whoa. We're dealing with... We're we up to thousands, possibly. No one ever talks... Yeah, but no one ever talks about movies to see after you die. Um, I guess you'd want some, like, heaven-themed ones or hell-themed ones, depending on where you end up. Probably that, or... Purgatory-themed ones. Maybe watch some infinitisms, because they have those, right? References to good old purgatory. Did you know that purgatory is outside of time and space? I learned uh, that. That's what I've heard. Yeah. And so is the vanishing point. Bet you didn't know that. So, the vanishing point? Next time you're out of time and space, just go to the vanishing point. <laughs> just go to the vanishing point beyond time and space. It's really that simple. Mm -hmm. Can't stay awake much longer. Goodbye, Wolf. God bless. Well done, guys. Hope you're extremely successful in whatever you do, Wolf. Wolf, thanks for everything you did. You and EFAP got me thinking more critically, and that will help my writing and critiquing my friend's book. Wolf, kick J one last time. <laughs> <laughs> did it in spirit. Wolf, I was wondering if you had a favorite character in The Wheel of Time so far. No one else reads the series while I was in high school, so I never got a chance to talk about the books with my, uh, my first time. Uh, I really like Matt. Perrin, I, I like him conceptually. His wife is a horrible cunt, though. He deserves better. Hmm. Rand, I don't know. He, he switches between a good character and a bad character in, like, every other book. So he's like Kylo Ren? Well, kind of, yeah. Only he's not like an autistic little child. Rand is just like, he's, he flips between being a douchebag and a goodman constantly. And it's really, I don't know where I stand with him, but I really like Matt and Perrin. Well, Perrin conceptually, Matt is a pretty good character. Um... Long days and pleasant nights, Wolf. I'll miss you very much. Also, how is the third Lycanius book and thoughts on Ancient Magus Bride? Uh, once again, third book is really great. Ancient Magus' Bride. I enjoy the world building magic and monsters. I, I don't really know where I stand on the characters. Because some of them are interesting, but th their interactions are weird. All right, then. Uh, love you, Wolf. Have this money for snacks or something. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hope y'all are having a good time. Toxic brood N-words unite. Absolutely. We, we, toxic brooders have to stick together. Oh, and I think we're finally at the Super Chats where we were, we were thinking about wrapping up, sort of, because it says, read our Super Chats, Wolf. Oh, no, wait, for Wolf, you massive. It took Reader some time. Chat. But we eventually did it. Uh, not well. We got a few left, if, uh, quite a few left. But uh, you know, it's, it's all right. We got there eventually. That was that was the. Pro it's funny because this is um, this is all separated from me and Rags's fucking overflow. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I believe uh, our overflow is bigger than the selection that we've been reading out for Wolf today. So, um, oh well, we'll get there. We're getting good -ish. there. Good ish. It is impossible for us to be defeated by it because I can always save them and we can always do streams specific to reading Super Chats. We will catch up. We outpace the Super Chats ultimately. There's a lot of... There was, there was some people who were saying as well that I don't... Um, I don't read out the Streamlabs ones or whatever. I was like, no, 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 I've got them all. All of them have been saved uh, and I read out the new ones now. Any new Super Chats or Streamlabs get prioritized, so... It may seem it's, it's to try and stay on topic, I guess. That's the the logic, mm -hmm. so that they get read as as relevancy. But it does suck for the for the one that was sent, that ended up at the bottom of the overflow. I hope to get to you as soon as possible. Um, but yes, it could it could be a while before yours are read. I I apologize, but we are getting there. Um, y'all started streaming before I went into work. I got home and you're dying over Wolf saying Falcon instead of Vulture. Never change, Longman. 
I can't even remember. What what did you, what was that? I don't remember. But I do remember there being funny tisms because I said the wrong per I think I might have accidentally said Falcon just because Falcon's like a worthless character no one remembers, but he's got the wing thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Just popping in real quick to say farewell to Wolf. It's been a fun ride, and I'm gonna miss you, my N-word. Best of luck out there, man. Ah, oh, shoot. I gotta get to sleep. Good night, y'all. I appreciate all of you very much. Bye, Wolf. I hope to see you around. I bet I'd love to work with you. Perhaps? Wolf, I caught the big gay for you. I have him locked in a closet. What should I do with him? Do you want me to send him to you, or pick him up? Do you want to pick him up? Don't. Oh. He's got the big gay. What, what do you want to do with it? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? He, he ha he's captured the big gay. What would you like him to do with it? Destroy it. Oh. Is the, the two offers he gave you were that he could deliver it to you or you could pick it up. I don't think destroying it was on the cards, but all right. Destroy well, it. Cast it into the fire. <laughs> Cast the big gay into the fire. There's always more big gay, though. There's never just one. Destroy the gay. Purge it from the world. Wolf, ever heard of Vinland Saga or Monster by Naoki Urasawa? Think you'd really like them. Wishing the very best to you, my fellow N-word. I've heard of them, I haven't seen them, though. Wolf, thanks for recommending Violet Evergarden. Mm -hmm. Godspeed, Wolf. Love y'all. May the dawn bless you as you plow through episode 9. Also, what do you guys think of Dread 2012 with Carl Urban? No, I liked it. it a lot. I really liked it. Uh, did you say you hadn't seen it, Wolf? Yeah, I haven't seen it. I saw it. It's been a long time ago. Maybe we should put that on our rewatch thing, right? I would love to well. rewatch it, yeah. And again, we're up to like 10 million movies. We've got to see all the, all the quote-unquote Oscar besties that, that are better than Joker. i got to know if they're better than Joker, otherwise I'm, I, what am I as a film critic? What are we as a film critic if we cannot see the nominations, hmm? It was funny, um, Houston Productions put out a tweet saying that Joker is this year's Green Book. The implication being that Green Book didn't deserve any Oscars or whatever. Neither does Joker. And I was just like, why do you, why? What a strange movie to compare it to. I guess it just means in yeah. terms of getting Oscars, not like anything else. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. But, I don't know. I, I like the Green Book, and Joker was fucking amazing, so. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, there wasn't much that came out in 2018 or yeah 2018 that was good so green book and i mean i guess i agree with that only in the sense that it's like one of the least shitty movies that year yeah like, it's not like we had a great selection star is born was pretty good too what else came out in 2018 that didn't suck um infinity war yeah. <laughs> I'd have to was check. Just... 2018 was like, didn't we decide that was one of the worst films for movie? Or I'm pretty sure 2018 and 19 are like tying for the worst movie years ever. And 2020 will have to be a fucking calm year, hopefully, in terms of comparisons. Oh, well, we got two good movies so far. Yes. Uh, EFAP has been a gem in my life since last year. Recently began catching up with the first two dozen. Must sleep now. Can't wait for you to rip TROS apart. We'll miss you, Wolf, and appreciate you, Mola. Hi, Rags. Hello. Thank you. Uh, hi, Samurai Vader. Okay. Uh, maybe that's the name of the guy who sent it. I don't know. Uh, hi, guys. Also by Wolf. Uh, Bark. Bark. It just says Bach. Uh, <laughs> okay. Wolf, my GF and I bid ye farewell and safe travels. Love you, Wolf. Going to seriously miss your commentary. On one hand, Shad is about to take down... to take rep down under. On the other hand, if Wolf doesn't get to see my drawing, I might die. This is the duality of EFAP. I don't know whose drawing that was, or if you have or will see it, I'm afraid, but... Uh... Oops... Springs Eternal. That's a thing some people say sometimes. Uh, gonna turn in. Wolf, it's been great and good luck. You okay, Wolf? You're very quiet. You got aspirin? 
I think at that point you were just listening to um, Republican Man Getting Savaged, I remember. That, and it was like, what, almost 13 hours? Yeah, we'd, uh, going at that we'd point. come a long way. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, a, that was a night. I only found all of you in August, and I've been doing my best to speed run through, but I had to join for this one, Wolf. I love you, and doing my best to get my hands on your book. Godspeed. Uh, wow. Diagnosed with cancer last week, blaming TLJ. Uh, oh my god. Oh uh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It took that long? Sorry to hear it, but apparently, yeah, I mean, if you got hit with it in 2017, it just took some time to come together, I guess, in the cells. Uh, EFAP is going to get me through treatment. Love you, massives. Wolf, fun, free, and find your space. Yeah, man, hang in there. Yeah, we will... Uh, hopefully provide some entertainment while you um, go through, I, I assume, chemotherapy of some sort, and yeah. If there is a luck factor to cancer, I hope you uh, get all of it. It mm -hmm. can be, if you, if there's any advice I can give you as a cancer patient, which is weird for me to say, be like the, the guy who took the picture of the elephant's foot in Chernobyl who has cancer, and he says that uh, Russian cancer is the best cancer. Just make a joke out of it. He seems happy, even though he's dying of cancer. Just to get a photo of a foot. Yeah. Special foot, though. Special foot. Uh, Mauler, Riags, and Wolf. Thoughts on Dragon Ball Z abridged and hashtag Wenbu. I've never. I don't know anything that. about Dragon Ball Z. Neither do I. Uh, Wolf, do you think Dinotopia is better than Jurassic World? Oh god, that was a... I think I might have... Have, have you guys ever heard of Dinotopia? I assume that was just like Dinotopia, some film you may have no. reviewed at some point. Oh no, I didn't review it. It was just like, one day out of nowhere, I had like this very vague memory of something that I'd seen when I was a kid, and I like went searching for it. And I found it, and I was like, oh my god, this exists. This isn't just a figment of my imagination. <laughs> uh... I don't remember anything about Dinotopia aside from that it exists, and I watched it when I was like five or something. So I don't know if it's good or not. I just remember like asking. No, I think I, I think I asked people on Twitter like, "Is there a movie that's like this?" And people were like, "Oh yeah, it's Dinotopia." And I was like, "Oh my god, it exists!" People <laughs> remember this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember anything about it, so I can't I can't say. Uh, Wolf, miss your channel. Your videos actually helped me a lot with my own writing. Hope you decide to bring it back. I barely caught you at the end, but Wolf, I've been a fan of yours since the beginning, and I love you. You are truly the Tony Stark of the EFAP Avengers. Wolf. Fucking dipshit of a Tony Stark, holy shit. Well, I mean, you, know, you don't quite have the suit going for you, but, yeah. Or the brain, or the looks, or the anything. What about the alcoholism? <laughs> Don't even have no, the I, alcohol, does no, it? I, I don't even have that. I've never drank alcohol and never will. Uh, Wolf, really? I you haven't? Nope. Hmm. I, yeah, most I, of my, shit. my family has a, a really bad history of it, and I got a pretty addictive personality, so I've uh, decided that's probably a bad thing to even try. Same with cigarettes. Never tried those. Mm-hmm. I've tried oh, yeah, them a couple of times. They're just, they're just horrible. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I, I worked at a gas station for nine months, and it, if anything convinced me not to, it's the people that would come in and they'd order, they'd get like two packs of cigarettes a day. Like, I remember there was this one guy who came in like every single day and he would get six cans of Steel Reserve and two packs of Marlboro Black Red 100s. And he, had like teeth that were brown mm. it was it was bad there were people that would come in time and get like the chewing tobacco and their teeth would be all fucked up too it was a uh, pretty good reason to not do it i guess it's kind of like watching my 600 pound life and using that as an excuse not to eat things i know i shouldn't be eating yeah, I just, I remember I tried it a couple of times and then people were like, you don't like it? And I was like, I think you guys have just smoked these until you like them, slash got addicted to them through nicotine. Like, that seems to be it. There's no other it's reason. Like, 
It's like, but everyone knows that they're addictive and that they're nothing but terrible, horrible badness for you. And then they choose to start anyway. And you're like, fucking hell. Like, why did you even start? Why did you put the first one in your mouth, man? Because it's cool. It's peer pressure. I know that someone's cool. probably going to be like, but Wolf, you smoke weed. But it's like, well, that's not the yeah. same. <laughs> It, well, first off, it's not the same. Second, uh, when I do, it generally helps with my anxiety and sometimes with my depression, depending on how much I smoke. But usually I need to smoke so much that I don't even remember my own name, which isn't exactly the kind of state of mind I always want to be in all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I've just never really grown addicted to it. I mean, I, I know that you can grow addicted to it, but I've never like really desired to get high. Like, I like it. I, I like smoking with friends, but I don't go out of my way to get weed. It would be like if someone at, like says, hey, you want to smoke? I'll be like, oh, yeah, pretty much all the time unless I have something to do. Uh, but I don't go out of my way for it. I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm glad I never got hooked on anything worse than what I did. Just generally don't pizza and kid. pop drugs are bad okay drugs are bad don't do drugs i've spent the last couple days overthinking what to say i wish you the best and i sincerely thank you for the happiness you brought me and everyone else good luck friend and keep writing I miss you already wolf thank you for the laughs videos and book recommendations i will forever cherish this short time knowing you Goodbye, Wolfie. You made some of the best videos on all of YouTube. Your cute voice and sense of humor always made EFAP better. Stay safe, please. I don't think I've ever heard anyone refer to my voice as cute. Cute voice? Yeah, I don't know. Rags, what do you reckon? What's the cute factor? Cute. Doesn't... I wouldn't say cute. Yeah, I would go with powerful before cute. Uh, but that's just me. Mm -hmm. uh, 21 gun salute for Wolf. Goodbye, you massive N-word. Goodbye, all my N-words. I love you, Wolf. Gonna miss you. Uh, Wolf, are you gonna keep watching EFAP or at least keep talking with Muller and Rag in private? Yeah, I, I talk with... No, I, I, I shun you both, obviously. <laughs> no, well. no I, I, yeah, I talk to everyone uh, in private. I, I don't really have the time to watch all the EFAPs, so... You know what I, one I, I think you in here there. I think the one you will probably watch will be the uh, the Ralph one, yeah. You're gonna wanna see us oh, defend yeah. your boy Joker. I'll, I'll definitely watch that one. <laughs> uh Book recommend before you vanish, Wolf. Malazan Book of the Fallen. Oh Malazan. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna piss people off with my opinion <sighs> on this. I don't really like it. I I got through like the first, I want to say 200, 250 pages of it. And it there's like numerous time jumps, like almost every chapter. It introduces a ton of characters so quickly that I can't even tell who they are or what they do. I couldn't tell even what the conflict that was going on was about or who it was against. It was like the most convoluted book I've ever tried to read. And eventually I was like, I can't, I can't do this. So I kind of gave up on it. Maybe it gets good. Maybe it's good for other people, but I don't know. I, I wasn't enjoying it. Uh, Wolf, I wanted to know that you've helped me get through stuff in life. Uh, is there any way to get iridescent at all? I miss you, man. There is not. Wolf, farewell, you awesome human. Thank you for making my life a lot better. Your videos helped me through a very tough time. Stay safe. Take care. Uh... Jesus loves you, no matter what others do. You are loved by us and will be prayed for. Please be great, graceful to yourself. You are someone you are valued. Um, will always be around, just like my old friends on Halo used to say. <laughs> <laughs> People, there's, there's, there's memes about how, like, there was a yeah, last yeah, that... time that you played with your group of friends on Halo or whatever, and you wouldn't have known at the time. And it's like, oh, man. Yeah, I, I remember those days because i used to be like even in the reach days as much as i don't like the game like i played that a shit ton with my friends and i remember there was like a time where i was like hey we'll play tomorrow and it just mm -hmm. never happened and then last online 2000 days ago yeah yeah <laughs>
very specific number. <laughs> well, I, it's true. It happens. It's like, oh, yeah. Man, no. Um, yeah, things were easier when I was 15 and retarded. Oh, I miss being retarded. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, when people say I'm retarded every day. No. That's because they don't, un that's because they're retarded and they think you're retarded because the things you say are things they don't understand because they're retarded. I was just going to say it's because we all know that under those glasses, your eyes are looking in different directions. Be yeah, well, because he keeps track yeah, of loads of things at the same time. Me. Try, yeah, try and sneak <laughs> up on me. <laughs> Wolf, I saw so much of myself in your goodbye video. If you ever just want to chat with someone who gets it, hit me up. Best of luck out there. Take care of yourself. And this one just says, I haven't cried this hard for a really long time. I'm guessing that this was nearing the end of the, uh, the stream. Dry your tears from Fist of the North Star plays. Um, uh, good luck, Wolf. Miss. We're gonna miss you. Also, you boys seen Knives Out yet? No. No, hmm. I've heard it's pretty good. Yeah, I've heard good things, if I'm being honest, so. Uh, I have a friend who went to go see it, and uh, I asked him, like, so was it shit? And he was like, I don't know. There was, like, this group of black kids that started a fight in the theater, and I couldn't hear. Oh. And then he, uh, he he got free tickets for having to deal with that. And uh, he doesn't <laughs> really remember much of the movie because of it. Well, we're, we're planning on watching it with Critical Drinker at some point, so. It should be fun. Yep, yeah, it should be fun. Uh, mm -hmm. you gonna keep in touch with Mola offline, Wolf? Yes. yes. Mola and Wolf. I have to watch Avatar. Yeah, true. Uh, read any Buffyverse comics? Angel Season 6, thumbs up. Uh... Well, so, I... like, back all the way when I finished Buffy for realsies, and then I searched online for, like, comics and stuff, I was like, oh my god, they continued the story, and then I read some plot points, and I was like, oh my god, this is... yeah. I uh, I have a friend who's really into comics, and when I told him, like, I, I told him almost embarrassed, like, oh, yeah, this might sound weird, but Buffy and Angel's really good. And he was like, you like it too? And I was like, oh, thank God, you're not going to reprimand me for this. And he uh, had the comics, and he lent them to me, and holy shit, they're horrible. <laughs> I think like, after the full Angel Season 6 was probably the best of the lot, right? But it's just... I mean, there there is a point where Buffy and Angel have sex while flying through space, and yeah, uh, well, you said it was bad. That... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put it this way: after you watch the show, that is just like, wait, what? <laughs> what? What? what, it's, what it's, um, it's don't don't watch or read it. And I'm if you liked it and you don't like what I'm saying, I'm sorry. You like bad comics. <gasps> Um, but yeah, we we didn't uh, we didn't explore them. Buffy yeah. ended at season seven. Angel ended at season five. Don't at me. Hey Wolf, before you leave, can I hear your detailed thoughts on Breaking Bad? Detailed thoughts? I haven't watched it in quite a while, so I might get things wrong. But I really liked it. I wasn't a huge fan of the of most of the characters. I mean, there there was a couple that I liked, Walter White, obviously. Um, but plot-wise, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It's not my favorite show, but I really, really like it. It's great. Usually my, my stand-in for, like, it. the best show that's ever been made is probably, like, the, the highest of tier, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably... Of the shows I've watched, and I admittedly haven't watched too many shows, uh... It's probably the best I've seen. But I think my favorite's Buffy and Angel at this point. Mm. Characters are fucking great. Yeah, it's really hard to beat them uh, in the amount of time that they had it on the screen. So, And that's the thing Lots I kind of agree sucks, about. But... Uh, Breaking Bad's characters, like, like I like Hank and Walt and Gus, but then I'm already feeling like we're running out. Like, Jesse, yeah, yeah. Mike. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like them all. It's just they're, you know, and then you start to get into like Hank's wife is like, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with her. She, she's like, a, she becomes a kleptomaniac at one point, and then she's just like annoying. Yeah, like the advantage Buffy and Angel have over 
Breaking Bad in my eyes anyway. It's the the characters are way better, but the plot in the in those shows are it's kind of bad for the most part. I mean, I usually go with like yeah, it's it's some of the plots work, a lot of them are retarded, and then the will yeah, building like, kind of breaks itself quite a few times. Angel season five's really good with mm -hmm. its plot, but uh yeah. Or not so much. It, <laughs> Four is horrible for plot, character, world building, <laughs> just everything. entertainment value. Just there's there's nothing good about it. Oh, is it Wesley's Wait, would, the best season? Oh, that that's true. But he he comes more into fruition in season five. You just need season four to understand it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, season four, fuck. <laughs> I remember you telling me how bad it was, and the first few episodes like aren't bad. Yeah, or not, and I was like, "Well, this doesn't seem too bad." And then it happened. Yeah, there's and a particular then, episode, a particular scene, and you're like, yeah, "Oh God!" You start vomiting. It, where it's like, "Oh, it's inexplicably horrendous." <laughs> and then feel, anybody who's seen is, Angel season four knows exactly what we're talking about. By the way, it's like so atrocious. You don't even like. Oh fuck! It's it's horrible but then it's bizarre because angel season five is so beyond good it, it's like they handed it over to like someone who hated the show for season four <laughs> and then they were like oh god what have we done and then took it back to people who actually cared yeah um damn this one hurts see a wolf good luck to you and this one says, looks like rain, which I know this reference. Rags, do you know the reference? Wow, this looks like rain? Yeah, and then I, I don't know the dialogue specifically. They're like, it's uh, not raining. Well, and then he's like, yep, definitely oh, rain. Oh, that's the Full Metal Alchemist thing, isn't it? Yeah. Have you seen that, Wolf? No, I have not. It's a really, really good show. And that's me recommending an anime, so. Dun, oh dun, my dun. god. Wishing you all the best, Wolf. You've brought a lot of us, uh, lots of laughs, and you've got a hell of a writing career ahead of you. So long, my N word. My good sirs, thank you for the month's worth of content. Keep fighting the holy and protected war, my N warriors. May the dawn smile on us my all. My N warriors. <laughs> N warriors. Uh, this is for Wolf as a little goodbye from this N word. If I could only exempt one massive from the toxic roof, it would be him. Hmm. Wolf, your goodbye video resonated with me. I was diagnosed with Asperger's around 10, so I know the struggle. I find it hard to create, and there are few things I've ever created that I'm satisfied with. Most people don't understand, but maybe you do? Yeah. I, I generally look at most of the things I have made and don't end up liking them. Um... We'll miss you, Wolf. Also, please convince Mola to get into Attack on Titan. Well, we gotta do Avatar first. We're on the do... <laughs> That's after watching the rest of Angel again. Yeah, we've got we've got so much stuff to do. We gotta do uh, so many Dark M Crystal to too. Get Dark oh, Crystal. Yeah, Dark Crystal. And then there's so many movies too. Like we want to watch the uh, Peter Jackson King Kong again. Oh yeah, get a refresher. Uh, the Hellboy movies. Maybe not the new I don't one. Remember though. what else? <laughs> no, no, not that. No, we'll I don't even know the why the the because I heard the new one's bad, but I have no idea why. Is it just? Um, uh, CJ's made uh, a review uh, on it. Yeah, yeah, CJ made a pretty good video on it. Have whatever his opinion is, adopt it, Rags. Okay. All right, sure. I'm not giving you a choice. Uh. For Rags slash Wolf, Tipman slash Lakeside Arms make a 22 caliber M1919 belt fed replica in semi auto. Uh, it's goddamn expensive. Sold at 2016 auction for $5,750. But the funny oh. part is that the ATF classifies it as a modern handgun despite it needing a tripod. Uh, tripod doesn't have anything to do with whether or not it's classified as a handgun. It's a well, big clearly, handgun I think that's part of the point he's making, right? 
Well, it never really... I guess, like, if it has a brace instead of a stock, it's a handgun. If it has a, um... Like, if it has a stock, it can't be a, a handgun, essentially. But if it's not long enough, then it's a short-barreled rifle, and that comes with its own red tape. It's it's really weird, and certain states are different. Hmm. Really weird stuff, but that sounds like an interesting idea. I suppose what, if you're not supposed to shoulder it, then it's technically a pistol. What's it called again? I want to see what it looks like. Oh, uh, fuck. The, the Tipman's... Well, actually, I'll just paste it to you. There's a lot of things. Do, do, do. Tipman Lakeside Arms makes a toy... M1919. Okay, hold on. Belt fed replica in semi auto. It's goddamn expensive. Oh. Nearly six. It looks like a, like a midget machine gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> midget machine gun. Like, look, look at. Okay, hold on. I need to show you this image. This is actually <laughs> kind of hilarious. Dun, dun, dun. Open, upload. Look at it. It's a midget machine gun. <laughs> Adorable in its own way. Oh, yeah, it's That's like funny. a mini browning. Yeah, like for toddlers. <laughs> Baby's first mini. <laughs> Baby's first <laughs> mini. That's funny. Yeah. Um. Uh, love you, Wolf. Please keep coming back. We love you. Mm. Goodbye, Wolf. In quotes. Quoted by Bilbo Baggy Bulls. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you missed the chance to call yourself Bilbo Saggy Balls, Jesus. Bilbo I like I like I like Baggy Balls. It's funny. But uh. after the ring left, my balls they've just <laughs> getting smaller and smaller. Uh Schlongman, let me give you a money and tell Wolf Sh that I would Sh kick <laughs> Tell Wolf that I would kick the CEO of Depression in his Chinglelings for him. Chinglelings? Chinglelings. 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 I, I don't know which part of the body that refers to, but I could give a guess. Your schminkles. Your schmangles. Greetings, my M words. Thank you for giving me time to recover from the last EFAB. The frequency had left me scared and deformed, but my cream has never been stronger. Also, send Wolf my love, and I will be thinking of him. Also, hi, Rags. Hey, how confused do you think anyone who's not familiar with EFAP must have been when you were calling him Creamy Sheev in your video? He was Creamy like, Sheev. He was in the comments being like, "Thank you so much for using that <laughs> name." <laughs> I couldn't resist when I was writing the script. I was like, "It's Creamy Sheev. That's his name." Okay, jeez. I I just imagine the people who have never heard of us before stumbling upon that and being like why are you calling him creamy there was a there was a verified account i can't remember the name of it but they said uh something along the lines of like i was enjoying your video up until you called rose shrek i'm out of here and i was like off. oh <laughs> rip and uh, a couple people there was even like because i was i was on metal's channel while he was streaming like i think a day after it released and there's a guy like why do you call her shrek though I like like really upset like like the only goal of mine is to say she's super ugly and I was like that was never the actual point it was uh but it's just it's I guess people just automatically assume because apparently everyone thinks Shrek is ugly which I think that's pretty offensive the, I mean it it's the Chad it is weird how like it seems the movies make her look a lot less attractive than she is in real life yeah, they, uh, a lot of people describe the clothing they give her in, like, all the films as a potato sack, and they I mean, fuck yeah, with I mean, her hair. Yeah, I, I genuinely thought she was fat, and then I see pictures of her in real life, and it's like, oh. And they make her, no, like, they make just... her sweaty as well a lot of the time. Uh, yeah, it's like, while the other why characters are you making don't? this otherwise very attractive person look very unattractive? I don't know, but we have talked before about, like, I don't know why they made her, like, they... It's like it's like they went out of their way to make her ugly. Yeah, weird. Like they really did, seemingly try. But yeah, it was never a comment about her being ugly anyway. It was always about how random it is that she just fucking turns up and then she ends up being like a main character for a whole movie. When we had enough trouble not focusing on all the main characters we had in the first place. But um, 
it, it apparently translates to most people as a racist comment, or at least people who fucking don't like me, but <laughs> it's fine. I just like the idea that you're enjoying the video and then me referring to her as Shrek is like, that's it. No, you can't, you can't, can't believe you called her Shrek. She is a wonderful character. She's, you're one of those people. She's, <laughs> like, she's oh, an no. amazing character. Uh, hi Rags. Hey. This money is for Wolf. We will miss you, man. To Mauler. Have you gotten around to watching the Clone Wars yet? If not, heads up, the episodes for the first few seasons were aired out of order. Don't ask why. I'm aware that um, there are viewing orders available for it. I watched a season and a half uh, with Fortier, and we we really had trouble. We tried to push through, kind of gave up. I will... Uh, on what again? Uh, Clone Wars. I got a season and a half uh, of the way in, and I kind of eat it out. Yeah, I got through season one, and then like the first few episodes of season two, and I was like, I don't... This I don't is get the CGI it. one, right? The... Yeah, the, yeah. The, the 3D animated one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sure, maybe it gets better, but it's like there's a there's a point where I can't really be fucked to watch all of this hoping it'll stop sucking eventually. And mm -hmm. I know people will be like, Well, you watched the first couple seasons of Buffy, and it's like, Well, we at least me, I watched six episodes of the first season. And yeah, then people we... underestimate how long that actually takes. You can wipe through season one when you have those sort of viewing rules. And season one's finale has a glimpse of how good Buffy's about to get. And when you tell people that when they're watching it, the, the good part of season one is about to become the majority part of the better seasons, you you get a sense of like, okay, all right. It's like reassuring. And even then, the, the good part of season one is like nothing compared to how great it gets in season five and six. Agreed. Um, though, uh, I wouldn't deny that perhaps it, Clone Wars gets really good later on, and maybe I'll get around to it at some point. It's just that it didn't quite work out, and I might have to give it another shot later or something. Most people have told me that it doesn't get good until after Season 2, and there's other people that are like, it doesn't get good until after Season 3. And it's like, well, how many of these seasons do I need to get through until it gets good? Apparently three. Like, I'm sorry, that, that, that's, that's quite a lot of investment. They're not short yeah. seasons either, are they? No, not like Buffy season one where it was 12 episodes, but only like six of them are actually necessary to see. Uh, but season two is not bad. Well, I mean, it, it's bad for some episodes, but there are quite a few good ones in there too. Yeah, yeah. The ending of season two is amazing. Yeah, that's top tier. That's the, that's the one where once they've seen that and it's like... So if the like if, if you didn't like enjoy the that few episodes, then um, it'd be a surprising. Like like you at least most people would at least recognize that it was a uh, pretty well made outside of if they really enjoyed it or not. Yeah. Um, to Wolf, we're prepared to respect your desire to retire. Hey, but it's weird to hear you say that you don't like the content you've created because we like it. Uh, sorry, I should read that better with punctuation. It's weird to say that you don't like the content you've created. Full stop. Because we like it, full stop, even if not all of the passion you showed was for the content itself, even if some of it was. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, like, obviously, Wolf's, you're wary aware that a lot of people love your videos, it's just that, uh... Yeah, I'm... I, I won't say what I was about to say, because otherwise people would get mad at me. Uh, yeah, no, I don't like anything I've made, and I don't really care much that people think it's good when I know it isn't, so, yeah, I don't, I, I just don't like anything that I've put up on YouTube. Uh, many EFAPs behind, but I'm glad I managed to catch a portion of this stream. Wolf, I hope your future endeavors go well for you. Please take care of yourself and know that we won't forget you. You're a good man, and I hope this absence for the internet improves your mental state. If you ever do return, know that you don't have to do the persona anymore. We love you for who you are, not the rants you've made. Geode, the dawn protects. Good day, Mola and High Rags. Hello. Muesli, please send these super chats to Wallaf as a parting gift. Goodbye, our N word. Sorry for making this homo, but I am not Tywin. <laughs> Good that they clarified mm. that. 
Um, and then there's two left, but these these ones are very very much larger, uh, a lot larger. So uh, lots lots of reading for a second. Um, even if it was, uh, even if some of it was just frustration at your own life not going the way you wanted, your passion showed through all the same, and we all really liked what you made. If leaving is what you need to do, then by all means go. We'll be sad to see you go, but your health is more important than our enjoyment. But remember, you and we are all our strangers. We don't have a motive for false flattery. If we didn't like your content, we would say so, and in no uncertain terms. So don't for one second think there's anything wrong with your creations as far as audience expectations are concerned. Passion can be amusing, but passion mixed with truth is awe-inspiring, and you achieved the latter at least as often as your EFAP colleagues. Uh, maybe you overreacted when you didn't want to, that didn't come through to us. Maybe you'd wish you'd done things differently, we respect that, but I for one got as much joy from listening to, uh, you, you rant about Dan and Dave and what they'd done to something you cared about, as I've gotten from anything Mola has written. Uh, maybe you don't care about yourself, but if you ever cared about your audience, then please don't walk away thinking we didn't want more. Um, fuck social media, fuck Twitter, fuck Facebook. Fuck everyone who hassled you for not liking the things they worshipped with their retarded faggotry. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> your reasons for going, don't let them decide what's next for you, and know that... Uh, and know that. And if one day you should change your mind and want to come back, even if it's to make reviews of My Little Pony, F-I-M, uh, fantasy, fa fairies and- Friendship uh, is magic. Oh, that's the one, yeah. Uh, we'll be here. P.S. Consider electroconvulsive therapy. Depression is one thing it's actually known to work on. P.P.S. You having Asperger's never came through for me. And I don't think anyone else noticed either. And finally, whatever happens next, please keep that passion alive however you can. And let me read your book, please. That is the message. All right. Very long. And uh, the next one is longer again. But it's the last one. Uh, it's actually Sophistic Autistic wanted uh, this to be passed along. Um... Uh, this might be the last time that I get a chance to say anything to you. I hope dearly that you'll read it. While I am very happy that you'll be making a step forward in your life and stopping everything that has ever brought you negative feelings, a part of me and many others will be sad that you'll be leaving. I will never forget how I found you out. You were the first person of the group of EFAB that I had the interest in watching. You, interested, uh, you introduced me to Mauler, Rags, and so many more guests. You were a backbone to this that changed my life. You and others helped me not be so gullible, and to make my own judgments on experiences. If it was not for you, I wouldn't even go back to pixel art. You've introduced me to a whole group of people that have encouraged me to explore outside of an echo chamber, encouraged me uh, to follow my passions, have taught me many things, and have had more interesting conversations in about six months than I had in about two years. Without you, I would still think that The Last Jedi is good. You were the first review I'd ever seen that ripped into The Last Jedi, then talked about the movie instead of talking like you had a balancing act to try and please everyone, if that makes any sense. I've enjoyed your blunt attitude toward many creators who say poor arguments or mischaracterize you, your friends, or anyone who happens to be like you in one way or another was very eye-opening to me. It helped me realize how many people believe in those types of arguments and how the world needs to accept the facts. Funny enough, it is the stupid people who try to sound smart. The world needs simplicity again, and you brought it in droves. I really enjoyed how one with Asperger's can communicate so many ideas to me. And because you've introduced me to EFAP, I've learned a lot more because of your circle of friends. I have learned that people can be more than they let on and that some are even open to discussion. Some of those who are surprisingly are those that I wouldn't believe would come on. EFAP has taught me that almost anyone can earn respect, and that if we are to be closed-minded and never give respect to anyone, we become like those we criticize. We should allow open minds and open discussion about most things. Uh, sure, different opinions are expected to come up, but it is discussion where we learn the reasons for such opinions. You've also made me start up reading again, and I have finished the Thrawn books. I've also requested your book as a gift this Christmas and will be delighted to read your works. It is very sad to hear that you feel it is best to leave. 
But I look back on the sad with a grain of salt. Sadness reminds me that I was once happy. I still have the happy tisms. Uh, sorry, happy times. I'm actually <laughs> red times as tisms. <laughs> happy tisms. Um, and I will remember you giving me such happy moments of my life. I can go on and on, but I believe you get the idea. I'm very sorry for writing for the writing in this. I am not very good at it, and this has been mostly emotional. This must read like a jumbled mess. I hope that you can see that you've brought a positive part into my life. I also hope that you get the same positivity later down the road, even if I'm not there to see it. Merry Christmas, Wolf. I hope you feel honored. Tell Hugh Catman we said hello. Signed, Sophistic Autistic. P.S. I also want you to know that EFAP38 really helped me get a 90 on my project in criminal justice. I debunked the ever-loving and ever-dying shit out of Legal Eagle. My teacher even thought he was full of shit. This was to make you have some hope left when other criminal justice teachers think Legal Eagle is full of it. There you go. Was... Uh, which Legal Eagle video was that? I don't the remember. one where he like, says Captain Marvel was in the right. <laughs> when she oh, like, electrocuted yeah. and stole the shit from the dog. Wait, he, he, he wrote a paper on why Legal Eagle was... On why Legal it? Eagle was arguing poorly, I think, yeah. For criminal justice, I guess. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's also funny how even though you fucked it up and said happy tisms, it still it still works. Even if it, uh, it was automatic because I actually expected them to have written happy tisms. <laughs> 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 um, and that is it for all of the super chats and messages. There's one more that I think um, might be missing because I remember people telling me there was a message inside of the one of the meme videos we watched on the meme portion of the stream you were on. So. I'm going to go see if I can find that, and uh, if I do, we can read that at the end of the meme portion of this two-parter. But that is about it for um, for reading out the Super Chats and uh, the discussion on all of them. Is there uh, anything else you guys wanted to say or do before we sign out? Hmm. I guess... Uh, not? I guess not? No, not really. I suppose not, no. Um, <laughs> there is, there is, there is one more actually, because I just scrolled down. I guess I, I moved it to the end because it makes sense. Um, it says goodbye, Wolf. Say a catchphrase one last time, but in the past tense, along with hello, all my fellow steamboats. Uh, did we ever explain to you what steamboat is? No. What's that? Well, that makes sense that we can do that at the end of this one. Let me let me see if it does show up. I don't know if I ever googled it myself. I was just looking at the. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Rags, we gotta find this shit. Steamboat, like on Google. Oh, I think I've, I think I found it. Okay. So, the reason we know about this, I think I may have told you about it before, but uh, you know this will work anyway. There is a character who was the sidekick to Captain Marvel in like original comics. Oh wait, I think I might know who this is. And um, well, is it? It's like really really embarrassing and racist, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is insanely racist. <laughs> insanely, <laughs> insanely hilarious. <laughs> I don't uh, know what the hell they I, were I, thinking. I don't, I don't remember. I think maybe Jay or Fringy sent that to me, but oh god, well, yeah, that's... Uh, the funny thing was Ben from Drunken Peasants was the one that showed us this. Oh my god. Howdy, Captain. I hear you come banging in. What's cooking in the cooktums this time? <laughs> this time. It, 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 he looks just like a fucking monkey. Oh <laughs> my god. god. Yes. Like, oh my god. I love. What is. What is the. I guess he. <laughs> <laughs> come on. This is. <laughs> Oh my god. The that's... guys who wrote this, I would just be like, what are you doing? Like, what, <laughs> what are you thinking? When did this come out? November 23rd, April 20th. That does, that's not an actual date. Yeah, it's issue 23, April 20th. Yeah, we wouldn't, I guess, know. I, exactly that must have come out in, I don't know, 60s oh maybe? Look at this. 70s? Glory be, it's... The day of judgment. Oh my Captain God. Marvel, I so glad to see you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. His lips are bigger than his face. Yeah, the, the lips are really fucking weirdly drawn. It's like they want to have a pink it, beard it or like something. Fucking, it looks like a donut on his head. 
Christ, it's so bad. Yes, that's Steamboat. And so I guess they wanted you to say... That's Steamboat. Hello, all my Steamboats. And... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, all my Steamboats. Good and... God. Yeah, I guess... That about does it. What a way to finish. I'm glad yeah. that you got to see Steamboat that. pulling through for us once again. Ex absolutely. You're the real MVP. Um, so all that's left is for us to say goodbye. Um, goodbye, everyone, from me. You two have to go now. Yeah, all right. Well, I guess we like we have to leave. Mm -hmm. We gotta go, huh? We gotta go now. What I meant was you guys have to say goodbyes too. But yeah, you can interpret it that way. Fine. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, goodbye, everybody. I will catch y'all later. Goodbye, all my n words.